Welcome to Crashing with Friends. My name is Kyle Hobbs, your host. This week I'm joined by Jackson Brayman, <laughs> Matt Price, Ayo, and David Lindsay. The AO is Connor Hobbs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like the, <laughs> the, the intro is like kind of like evolutionizing or whatever it's called. Evolving. Evolving. <laughs> Revolution. Yeah, I think that's right. But <laughs> I think oh, yeah. evolutionizing. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever you said is the to, right word. Yeah, you used to say like today's uh, guest is uh, Jackson Brayman, and I'd be like, "What's up?" I don't get to say "What's up" no more, yeah. man. I gotta say my name. Yeah, you took it away. You took a what's up away from me. Well, this week we got Jackson Brayman. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? You guys want one too? I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'm right. I got my AO. I'll take one, actually. Yeah. Hey, we also got Matt Price this week. What's up, Matt? What up? Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. It's good to see you guys, too. Nice. Looking sharp. Yeah. Always. You guys, too. Everybody looks sharp. Hell, yeah. Razors in here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, Matt... How's you, how you been doing, man? Like, tell us tell us a little bit about yourself, man. You know what's what's up with Matt? Oh uh, well, I don't even know where to start. Like, uh, that's pretty broad. That's, that's so broad. <laughs> 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 Who are you? Yeah. So, so like the reason why this question is like hard because I've been asked this question because I go to the therapy. And I see a psychiatrist. Well, yeah, prescriber, not a psychiatrist. Well, I've seen a psychiatrist, but uh, a little bit about me is like uh, uh, I uh, I'm like super into like mental like mental health, mental illness, whatever. Uh, just awareness of it, and then like looking into science of it and everything. When I whenever you know I get into the researching mood, but uh, yeah, I. Uh, <clears throat> So, uh, what's, what's your credo? My what? Your, your mantra. Your, your mantra. What's your, <laughs> your, <laughs> I forgot how to go your credo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might be too young for this. <laughs> a credo sounds more like a motto. Like a motto? Yeah. 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 What's your thing? You know, like, <laughs> like, what do I say? Yeah, you got a catchphrase? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, is this like a Starsky and Hutch reference? Uh, partly. Okay. Shoot, what is my catchphrase? I don't have one. Though. When they're going undercover, talking in the bar. He's like, what's our credo? Oh, the secret credo, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, what's your catchphrase? You got it. <laughs> I've heard him say that before. <laughs> uh, dude. I've heard him say that before. I thought he was gonna say Kobe Squad. That's like if you ask me, Kobe Squad. I do say Kobe a lot. You know, what is my what is my catchphrase? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I still say I still say send it like. You know, <laughs> Uh, raise hell, praise Dale. Uh, yep. Do it for Dale. That was good. What's your catchphrase, Jack? Um. I mean, you know, dude. That's a good. That's, <laughs> that's, that's as good a catchphrase as any. <laughs> eat ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. eat, ass. It's eat ass, of course. Eat ass, Drive man. fast and eat ass. <laughs> ass, cash, or grass, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's it is. So I mean, that's what it is whenever I pick up the hitchhikers out on the highway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Connor, you got a catchphrase? Uh, well, Kobe Squad. And also, I like to say random phrases and then bad boy with it. Like, here comes bad boy and big time bad boy. <laughs> so. Yeah. David, you got to have one. I know you do. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not what you do. It's... It's or it's not it's not who you are. It's what you do that defines you. That's, that's deep, bro. <laughs> are you Batman? <laughs> are I Stan Lee? No, it's uh, it's better. Hang on, Spider Monkey. Oh wait, that's funny. <laughs> I no, I don't know. I don't have one. I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything that you say repeatedly. Yeah. 
Live fast, die young. <laughs> yep. I've heard you say that as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this moment, we own it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I guess my catchphrase is, we are Fox Sports. <laughs> <laughs> CNN. So, uh, how was your guys' this week? Pretty good. Did you do anything of importance? Mm, not really. Watched the college game, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I done forgot about that. I always forget about this stuff when it comes to podcast time. It's like, yeah, man, it's a pretty good week. And then, like, Connor is usually up right after that. And he's like, yeah, watch the F1 race. And I was like, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. I do love F1. <laughs> forgot about that. And, yeah, but, that, that's going to be on Saturday or Sunday morning at 12 a.m. If you want to watch yeah, the race midnight. this week. Australia. Okay, Jackson, go. But, uh, it's crazy. yeah, uh, I was able this to. It'll be too late by the time you hear this, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the time you hear this, midnight will already be passed. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I watched uh, the NCAA championship. I called uh, Kansas to win it whenever I did my tournament bracket, and they won it, dude. I was stoked. They came back. Uh, it was like the largest. Uh, Come back in NCAA championship history. I think it was like a 17-point deficit they came back from. So it was, it was a good game, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I woke up and was thinking, good good for Jack. And you Jack picked them this for one. your bracket, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Did any of you guys pick Kansas <laughs> for you your bracket? You picked them? <laughs> <I'll>, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you pick, Jackson? I don't, dude, I don't remember. I think I picked, like, Alabama and Oh, else. yeah. Yeah. I, wish I, I, I lost the first day. I need to find my bracket again because I can't remember like all the teams I picked. I, all I know is I picked Kansas to win it. But yeah. Well, uh, Matt, how was your week, man? Uh, it was pretty good. Um, spent a lot of time at work. Uh, I went to the gym on Monday before work, so that was nice. I did some cardio and weightlifting. Uh, I also. <clears throat> Got news that I was going to days day shift. Uh, I thought you were going to say days of our lives. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, days <laughs> of our lives. My dad. That's usually the shorthand for that is days. Congrats, dude. So, <laughs> yeah. Mom, if you're hearing this, I'm going to be on days. <laughs> I know you watch that. <laughs> but uh, like yeah. sands of the hourglass. Yeah, that's a uh, that's what I got. Uh, I also have been watching Moon Knight. The second episode came out this week and. But we don't got to talk about that. I mean, oh, we need to. It was good. Oh, no. But that's all we need to talk about. <laughs> all right. Because I know Jack it. and David haven't watched it. <laughs> yes. I'll, it's I'll all Elden it's Ring's good. fault. Huh? It was good. Yeah. Worth checking out for it's sure. Better than the first one? Episode? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, get, I think it gets better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say it gets better with the second. Yeah. Definitely. I loved the first episode, but... The first episode was good. The I'm second episode was... <laughs> It's better. Yeah, it does. I'm it. still jaded that it didn't get a movie, but it is what it is. Why? Uh, why? Why does it need a movie? Because it's Moon Knight, dude. Maybe he will get a movie. Yeah, that'd on. be cool. Yeah, he's he's one of my favorite superheroes. So. I think it yeah. would it would be better to do a series with him because you know, like Morbius, he's like a tier three villain of Spider Man. Yeah, that movie was. I, I don't know if it was good or not, but what I if, heard it was good, but. Uh, I've heard it was Bad. awful. What if that Ben Affleck Daredevil movie just never existed and all we had was the Netflix show? Would you be dissatisfied then? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then I wouldn't be able to make jokes about electric, uh, electric nachos, you know? <laughs> bullseye jokes. Yeah, bullseye. Oh, we can't lose the bullseye joke. No, we gotta have that. Bullseye. Um... Yeah, no, I, I th it's better that Moon Knight gets more screen time, too, and this way he gets more screen time, so. <clears throat> that is true. I'm really enjoying it, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, anything else cool you did, Matt? Uh, no, that's about it. Nice. How about you, man? A uh, good week so far. Um, it was, you know, slow at work, but aside from that, a lot of fun with video games, Elden Ring, that kind of thing. Um, Halo. Halo is a lot different than I thought it would be, this, the TV show. But I think I'm liking it. Um, didn't know how I felt about seeing Master Chief's face so much. So get ready for that. But aside from that, 
Um, they make a lot of changes to what's going on. But I think it's still a good show, you know. I just say give it a shot. Don't hate it, but, you know. Yeah. So don't you see his butt cheeks, too, at one point? You see some ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm in. Oh, wait, that's Jackson. I don't know, line. man. Like, that kind of deters me from ever wanting to watch the show. You see Master Chief's face... And Cortana doesn't look like Cortana. You pretty much get to see all of Master Chief, but his dick. So, dude, I, as like a diehard Halo fan since the first game came out, I actually really enjoy the show. Like, and I, I am completely separating it from like the video game lore. So, seeing his face yeah. at first was annoying to me, but now it's like, well, it's not even part of the video game canon or the books or the shows or anything. Right. It's Everything's, its own thing. Yeah. So uh, I feel like if I watched the show, I would, if the game when it came down to that part, I would have been like, man, you should at least have your helmet on and be naked from the like neck down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd rather see your dick than your face. <laughs> we just want the helmet. <laughs> yeah. That's all I want, man. I just want to see the helmet. <laughs> you can see the reflection of his penis in the visor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> Did you watch the three episodes that are out? Uh, I haven't seen the like the last two. Last two. Okay. I'm behind on everything, man. Elden Ring okay. is just it's eating away all my time, dude. But yeah, uh, I'd say check it out at least. You know, yeah, Halo. I definitely need to. I haven't watched it, but I, like uh, I, I've been a diehard fan since Halo One, and I've also read a couple of books. Uh, so is it like does it follow any of like the books like books or anything like that or is it still like its own separate like storyline I think it's like its own separate thing yeah well it it kind of attempts to follow the same storyline of Reach in a way where like they haven't heard of the Covenant before the yeah. re the rebellions going on on all the different yeah. planets and then all of a sudden oh there's the Covenant oh shit yeah. what do we do and the Spartans were developed to fight the rebellion. And then they just happen to be the perfect weapon against the Covenant. Yeah. Which brings up a good point. There's a part in the first episode where the one of the elites sees Master Chief and he's like, Demon! And oh. you're like, oh, I love that, right? But like, the only reason they called him Demon in the Halo games is because of how much a badass he was right. when the Covenant first came there. And he built a reputation, but it was like, that was the first time they ever saw Spartan. And they called him Demon like it was some kind of, which, you know. It's like they've been well, able, they've been known to call a bunch of people demon. Right, you know? right, yeah. Well, I think, gosh, it seemed like to those to those rebels or to those people on that planet that that was their first time seeing it. But I think the UNSC had been encountering them for oh. at least a few years. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it it had seemed like they talked about it. So, because you know, Master Chief's like the symbol for the war. So, like. I'm sure at that point he had to have got a reputation. You yeah, know? yeah, that's a good point. Because he's a badass, so give him a couple of years, and yeah, he'll get he'll get demon. <laughs> <laughs> I get that title. <laughs> it is really good. There's a lot of shots in the show where you're just like, oh my god, like they. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I mean, go ahead a little bit. <laughs> they show high charity in the first episode, and okay. like as soon as okay. they show it, you're like, oh my god. I'm seeing this on like a TV show screen or like a movie screen. Like, yeah, I thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah, dude. Man, that's, that's so I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to. I need to watch it now. But uh, I can't wait to see like the Covenant warships and everything. I've always liked the way they looked and everything. Like, yeah, they're just so menacing. Okay, I'll check this out. <laughs> yeah, I'll see this Master Chief's ass. I really, I really, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I really like Halsey too. Like they they cast some pretty good characters. So. Good yeah, actors. I agree. Yeah. yeah, and I I like his uh, team members so far. Um, I like their armor, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll see about the personalities. Ha haven't seen too much, but at least they're loyal. To, you know. Yeah. So they had one chick, one of the the Spartan chicks, the smaller one. Like for some reason, I was like, she's she's like a Power Ranger uh, in the yeah. armor. <laughs> I was like, for whatever reason. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> well, David, how was your week? I mean, you kind of said. A little bit about what you did this week, but yeah, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. It's it's pretty much like every evening, sometimes a half hour to an hour over lunch break if I have the time. If I don't have a run in the morning, I'll wake up early and play that for like an hour. So it's it's been a lot of time put in this week, but uh, I did my first ten mile run on Sunday last Oof. weekend, and uh, it wasn't as bad as the nine 
for whatever reason. I think I just, I'm more conditioned at this point, but I remember just like, cause I ran from like seventh street Walmart up fourth around the mall where the theater is. And then down to Newman road down to second. And then I took second all the way home, but there's not a lot of places once you pass the mall and get to Newman down to like my house on second street where you can find water. So I was like <laughs> struggling to fill my water bottle, dude. And like, I went by that red apple mart. Do you guys know where that's at? Yeah. yeah. I went in there and I'm like, I didn't bring my wallet, but I had my phone. So I'm like, I'll just use Apple pay. And I got it. I grabbed a Gatorade, was going to fill my water bottle up, got to the counter. And uh, I was like, can I refill my water bottle? She's like, no, you got to buy a cup. They're 50 cents no matter what size you get. I'm like, okay. And then I got to the counter with a cup full of water and a, and a, a Gatorade. And I'm like, can I use Android pay? She's like, no, we don't have that. And I'm like, oh, all right. See you later. <laughs> Just left the stuff on the counter. And she's like, if you need water, there's a, a spigot on the side of the building. And I was like, <laughs> I don't even care, dude. I'm thirsty. So I filled my water bottle up. But on the way home, I was I was catching up. I had like point two mile two miles left to go when I got to my house. So I was making around in the neighborhood, right? There's this dog on the corner <laughs> up the road from us. <laughs> And he's normally, he's like a Rottweiler, maybe a Rottweiler shepherd mix or whatever. He's normally in this big fence. And I saw him in the backyard out of the fence <clears throat> when I was running on, alongside one or one side of the house. And I was like, crap, because he always barks at me and shit when I run by. And he starts barking, but his owner's out there. So I'm like, <clears throat> okay, he's probably going to stay by his owner. As soon as I come around the corner, this dog comes flying at me, dude, out of the garage. <laughs> And he's like snarling, all his hair is stood up. And I was like, make myself big and loud. So I started like yelling and waving my arms. Just like, ah! <laughs> and he did not stop. He just well. kept coming. And then he like tried to take a bite at my right leg. So I pulled my leg back. I tried to kick him. And then he peeled off to the left, dodged my foot. So I like instinctively just pulled out my 380 and was like, I'm about to kill this dog. Oh, oh shit. Dang. And right when I pulled my gun out, the owner was like, called his name and he ran back in the garage and this like dude was pulling up and he's like, dude, are you all right? And I was like, yeah. And like my adrenaline's pumping and shit. Like I'm getting tunnel vision. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> this guy's like, do you want to ride home? And I'm like, I literally live two houses over and he's like, all right, well I'll follow you. And I'm like, I still got my gun in my hand and shit. <laughs> so, no, <I'll> follow you. <laughs> yeah. so he, <laughs> he uh, get back in the car, man. <laughs> I'm really telling you what to do right now. Yeah. <laughs> I just got attacked by a dog. You don't give me orders. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, so he follows me back to my house in his car and he's like, are you good, dude? I'm like, yeah. And he drives off. And I went over there after I showered and changed to talk to the guy because I was like, if I see your dog outside the fence again, I'm going to shoot it in the head. Like, period. You know? You said that to like, him? Yeah. Well, I was going to, but oh, he wasn't okay. home. Okay. So he lived in a duplex, so I knocked on his neighbor's door, and he's like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, do you know the guy next door? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, do you, do you know his dog came after me earlier? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, I almost shot it. And he's like, oh, shit. And I was like, yeah. So, like, tell him I run armed, and, like, that's all I have. So if his dog comes after me again, like, probably going to pull the trigger on it. And he was like, all right, yeah, I'll let him know. And then I drove by their house like two days ago, and the, the dude was in the garage with his dog again. Not on a leash, not on the fence. Damn. I'm like, all right. You might be in for a shootout but. one of these days, man. <laughs> he might be ready for you and just like, but bang, bang, let's go, you know? Well, I think I'm going to buy a can of bear spray actually off of Amazon. That way I don't have to like shoot my gun in, in a neighborhood, a residential neighborhood. <laughs> or something, you know? I, I looked up the laws, and like it's totally legal if a dog's attacking you in, in Missouri to just shoot it whatever but like it bullet ricochet and city limits all that stuff and i don't even want to go there so <laughs> they've got like bear spray that sprays like 20 feet on amazon for like 15 bucks with a little side pouch <clears throat> so there, there you go like if as soon as the dog makes an attempt see if you can try to get the dog and the owner at the same yeah time. <laughs> Dude, it, it's, <laughs> It's Dude, like, it's sorry, a, man. I meant to get just a dog that was coming after me. <laughs> it's like straight up pure 16 million Scoville unit capsaicin extract in an aerosol Ooh. form that sprays oh. 20 feet, dude. Oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> yeah. That's rain. Sign me up. Like, Let's yeah. go spray each other next like, Just like the you dog. You want to put that on some chicken? <laughs> yeah. 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 
man. We gotta do that for a skit one day. It's just yeah, sure. Oh chicken. my god. Oh, I thought you were gonna I'm say gonna... pepper spray each other. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, across the room. I mean, if you want to, okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Good. You said. Uh, you, all right. I thought you said you wanted to, but no, okay. <laughs> I'm not pepper spraying. I'm not getting pepper sprayed. What about you? Could get Go to Patreon. Bring a taser. Fifty dollars total. We will spray Kyle in the face with. Bear spray. Uh, bear spray. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 50 bucks. He didn't say no. 50 bucks. Yeah, he didn't say no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say no, that's consent. <laughs> Maybe 50 Patreon subscribers. Okay. At the third right. tier. Okay. I don't know about this. That was a bad mistake. <laughs> 50 Patreon subscribers. <laughs> no. That's a goal. That's a goal. <laughs> Oh That's my a God. goal. Dude, that'd be so awful. I don't even think I would handle that. <laughs> yeah, man. We would need to sort like bots and stuff. No. Or like I, I no I, I no. <laughs> Dude, because like at 16 no. million scovels that like will leave burns on your skin and stuff. Yeah. Like forget the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Like if you want, we can like tape up most of your face so that way we can do a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a big cross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just turns red. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that'd be so. Yeah, awesome. but but then the day after that, this uh, this super drunk black dude was walking around the neighborhood, and he came up to my neighbor while he was mowing the yard, the fence next to ours. I was talking to him forever. My neighbor eventually just ignored him and kept mowing his lawn because he's like, "This guy won't go away. I'm trying to mow my lawn." And so then I look over, and he's talking to my son over the fence behind me, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" So I go over there. I'm like, "What's going on, dude?" And he's just like, oh, man, you know, I just moved down the neighborhood, you know, like five, four houses down or whatever. And I'm like, right on, dude. And then he just kept babbling and babbling. So I took the kids inside because he was falling over and shit. And I'm like, I don't want my kids to be around this. And then I hear yelling. So I go back outside. And I guess Owen went out back without me knowing. And my neighbors picked him up over the fence and they were playing with his kid, which we do pretty often. But the guy was talking to my neighbor again. And he was like, he was like, dude, you need to leave, man. You're drunk. Go home. Sleep it off. And the guy was like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he's like, dude, don't be sorry. Just get off my property. Like, go home. And the guy was like, why are you being disrespectful, man? Why are you being disrespectful? And he's like, because you're on my fucking property and you won't fucking leave. <laughs> and he was like, and then the dude like started getting pissed off. And he's like, do you know who the fuck I am, man? Do you know who I am? I'm going to remember this, man. I'm going to remember this. He's like, you can remember whatever you want, dude. Get off my property before I punch you in the mouth. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> So the guy eventually left and then like he's gonna come back he's like remember when you told me to remember what I want <laughs> yeah. well, I remember I kicked your ass <laughs> and you're a bitch <laughs> but yeah the dude was like six foot three maybe six foot two so he's pretty tall and but and my my neighbor's like maybe like Bo's height but he's pretty stacked. He works on like uh, fracking fields, like in South Dakota or whatever. He like drives up there for a week and comes back for a week, and he's like he's stacked, dude. Like dude's huge. So I'm like, this guy's about to get knocked out, bro. But he ended up leaving. We we called the, we both called the cops. He called the cops on him, and they never showed up. So I called the cops, and they were like, yo, we don't have anything like that on record, but we'll send somebody out. <laughs> Nobody wow. ever came out. So I'm like, whatever. I had a weird encounter um, last Sunday when I was driving to Kyle's house. Um, I was just going this route, and this, I, I don't know what it, what he was doing, but he had these, this dude just had, like, these two sticks, man. Like, these two, like, walking <laughs> sticks. But they, were, they weren't really big enough to be walking sticks. <laughs> because he, he, I don't know, two and a half, three foot, you know what I'm saying? Okay. These sticks. And, like, as soon as I'm about to round this corner, he's at the corner... And he's walking, and he's getting the sticks, and he starts waving them, dude. He's going crazy. And, like, I had to go super wide just to not hit this dude. And I, I was just looking back at him, like, dude, is this guy, like, trying to attack me with these sticks? Like, what, what just happened? Is he, night, he, is he, he Nightwing? He, he was just walking. He was just walking normal, and then as soon as I got to the corner, crazy. Like, like, I don't know what was going on, man. But yeah, kind of the same situation. I didn't know if I was supposed to go into the guy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Joplin, Missouri, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. 
Jeez, it's wild, man. Yeah, but that was yeah, my week. Get some sticks, man. <laughs> get some st- Isaac, Isaac, my oldest brother, he he works in Crown Point, New Mexico, and he jogs all the time. And he's like, I told him the story about the dog, and he's like, I always bring a whooping stick because there's like wild dogs on the reservation he works at and shit. I'm like, damn, maybe I should get me a whooping stick. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure like the uh, the extendable metal baton oh, things yeah. aren't those illegal to carry? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So you can't do one of those, but mm, yeah. Maybe there, just a stick? I mean, I'm sure there's something I could find at, like, the flea market that will suffice, you know? Yeah. yeah those metal batons are illegal because of Nancy Kerrigan or whatever. Whatever her name is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. the chick is like, what? Yeah, her. What? Yeah. Dude was like, yeah. boom. Yeah. Mm. Uh, dude, I watched that Chicago, Trial of Chicago 7 movie. Have you guys seen that yet? No, I haven't. It's a fantastic movie. I think you would enjoy Jackson, but... It's about, like, the uh, race riots, or what was it? Yeah, yeah, like, race riots back in the 60s. Yeah. And there's a part where a cop pulls one of those out and, like, hits someone in the head with it that's dangling from a tree, and it just immediately, like, splits their head open and just blood's gushing out. Yeah. And I'm like, I didn't realize. Uh, they, those things look like tree branches. You wouldn't think that they would do that much damage, but I guess they have a weighted tip. Oh, so, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, do you remember one of yeah. our friends had one of those in high school? No. <laughs> And he was always he would whip it out and yeah it had a metal thing on the end of it like a metal circle thing on the yeah. End of it. yeah but wasn't it like wasn't his though like almost like a like um, an antenna or something <laughs> it, was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like a bendy uh, like you know like a doorstop uh, you know what I'm saying uh, yeah it had like a whipping action to it huh. yeah was that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about, dude. That sounds pretty crazy, actually. I don't know. If that's... <laughs> man, uh, that's wild, man. We'll yeah, like for a second, I thought maybe. I knew what you're talking about, but then you're like, it's like a door stopper. Like, okay. <laughs> it's like a really tightly coiled slinky that's like <laughs> two and a half feet or something. Just go, yeah. oh, I, don't, I don't freaking know, dude. Oh my gosh. What yeah, did, uh... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> What'd you do this week, Kyle? Well, uh, I watched all of. I finished Succession season three or whatever. That was pretty cool. Nice. Um, I'm trying to beat Fire Emblem right now. Sacred Stones. I'm on like the Ooh. last. I'm at the last like two missions. That game gets really intense really fast at the end. Yeah, I thought it was going to, but I've done so much, like, power leveling and stuff that my guys are all super strong. Oh, I meant, like, story-wise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The story is okay. It's okay. Yeah. You didn't really like it? It's all right. You didn't really like it? It's it's okay. (laughs) Yeah. I I don't know. I like the collect-a-thon nature of the story, how you have to, like, go and get all the sacred stones from the different capitals before the bad guys do. Yeah. That was, I don't know. They're all getting destroyed and stuff. There's yeah. like a couple left, and you gotta try to get them. <laughs> that that desert fight, bro, up in uh, like the north mm-hmm. east. That yeah. one sucked. Like all those wyvern knights and stuff, or, or wyvern riders, or that's where you fight the the main wyvern rider, right? The vil- like you know, yeah, yeah the they have like the main guy. court of villains or whatever. Yeah. yeah, that guy sucked. Yeah, but my guys were so overpowered, and they all had I had them all like already like evolved or whatever. Mm-hmm. All my characters, so I just was able to strum across and I had a bunch of magic users already in my party and that's what they recommend as magic users so I just went through and crushed but uh that game's good it is really good I recommend it it's a Game Boy Advance game but dang it's fun um what else did I do this week that's really it man um just taking my son to practice stuff like that hanging out with my boys as in my children um (laughs) That's it, though. Can you get any farther in Half-Life 2? No, I, I just pretty much strictly played um, Fire Emblem mm. and just watched TV all like the, pretty much this whole week. Didn't really do much on my computer. I had a lot of trouble last week editing the podcast. So I, I spent way too much time doing it. Couldn't get the audio to sync up, and it's still not totally good, but whatever. It's serviceable. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um. <clears throat> what I also wanted to, to ask, like, uh, this is crashing with friends. So, Matt, do you have any crashing stories? Oh, yeah. 
I have a few. Uh, I'll give you guys a, a choice of which one you want to hear first. Um, you guys remember the Challenger I used to have? The yeah, one? Oh, and you yeah. were all about that car, bro. Yeah, I. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about the one from NASA. <laughs> yeah, bro. Rocky, <laughs> not cool, bro. Rocket man. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon, dude. Oh yeah, that one. My, my bad. Gosh. We're supposed to be sad at that point. Yeah, uh, I wasn't alive for that time, so yeah. sorry. What? <laughs> okay. sorry. I wasn't alive, dude. At what? our job, since we work for products that mess with the go- you know deal with the government, yeah, we have to watch that video every single year. Really? Yeah. God, dang. It's messed up every time I watch it. I'm like, this sucks. I've, every I time I watch, watch it, this. it's messed up, man. Yeah, yeah we have to watch yeah, it every sad. year. And we also have to watch or listen to the sound of a submarine imploding. Oh, my that, God. Yeah, it's the sound of what? A submarine imploding. Oh, you dang. You just hear the sound effects. You don't hear the men screaming or anything uh, like that. Is that but, oh. Well, I, I hope not. That'd be a fucked up my <laughs> training yeah. service yeah. video, dude. Is that yeah, supposed to be crazy. like an, an example of what? why you need to take your job seriously kind yep. of deal exactly yeah yep. and they show examples of like bits of paper and different materials in the in like the metal <laughs> that they used and stuff yeah. and it's pretty hardcore they're like your job is really important and you're like funny i don't feel important oh my god <laughs> you don't make me feel important oh <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah go ahead your challenger <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry to just interrupt there. With, uh, <laughs> We're all about tangents on this podcast. <laughs> it's all good, I uh, yeah, it was so it was 2017, and yeah, uh, Christmas weekend actually. Yeah, I was working at Jasper Products, a night shift uh, that was six to six thirty, and uh, I think it was like, I think it was the 23rd or the 24th. And uh, I was leaving work that morning, and I had, like, iced and stuff all night. But, like, it wasn't too bad, is what I thought, because everybody was driving around and stuff. So, yeah, I'd take off in my rear-wheel drive car, sports car, and uh, I make it to the interstate, and I'm on the interstate, and I'm cruising. And I'm, like, going 45, 50 miles an hour. Like, people are passing me and stuff. Like, everybody's going faster than me, and... I get to the bridge that's like by Mercy, yeah, Mercy Hospital, and uh, I think they fixed it now. But it used to just kind of have like a, like a dip down into the bridge, like it, I don't know, like it felt like you kind of fall off onto it. Well, anyways, uh, you know, bridges ice before the road, so they're usually the slickest. Uh, right as soon as I like landed down on that like dip, uh, my car was like. It was just drifting side to side, like <laughs> on this bridge. And uh, fishtails, bro, fishtails. <laughs> all, all I could think about at that point was like, was like, I wonder what the people behind me are seeing right now. <laughs> like, what are they thinking about? <laughs> and then, uh, like, it, uh, I get it, like, does that until I get off the bridge, and then it, like, the rear, the driver's side, uh, rear quarter panel went into like the median line but it's the median the big huge cable that's like mm. in the middle oh, there shit. yeah so like it slowed slid through the dirt into that and then once it hit that with the rear quarter panel it spun around and then the front end hit it so uh yeah when the when the front end when it spun around and the front end hit i was like uh, like aware my eyes were open and i just see like parts of the car just fucking flying everywhere damn and i just like my immediate response was like fuck like hitting the steering wheel i was like no <laughs> and then i was like calling calling 911 and stuff i was like i, I got in a wreck <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was awful like they told me they're like well exit your vehicle and get far away from it you know safety reasons i guess uh which blew because it was like probably i mean it was below freezing yeah. at that point so it was not fun and then uh you know i'd called my my parents and they came and picked me up eventually and then uh got home probably around like 12 in the afternoon and stuff and uh like i i didn't get injured at all like uh the airbags didn't go off which was weird and then like I didn't get injured at all. Probably, like, maybe a little whiplash. Uh, not really any trauma. 
because <laughs> I drove like I usually drive when I get in my wrecks. I usually drive two days later, like I'm back on the road. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the story of that. Yeah, no injuries. I ended up working that night because we were all told if we got enough product that night at our job uh we wouldn't have to work christmas or something like that <laughs> so i was like well i don't want to work christmas so i guess i gotta go still in the work and i only got like you know six maybe five hours of sleep but like i still had the adrenaline after the, the wreck damn oh man a lot of people were like oh you're just you're a bad driver and all this other stuff and it was it was disheartening yeah it was <laughs> Yes, very. Exciting. You just want to rock that, around with your middle finger out the whole day, just going, "I hate you! I hate you! Shut up! You know, <laughs> leave me alone!" Yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Who are you? I slid off the road at a high speed. I'm like, it was like on the highway, and it was like right after I got done crossing a bridge. But um, it was like during the Super Bowl. I was on my way up to your house, and it was that time that I slid off the road. <laughs> but. It was crazy because I was just like driving, no care in the world. I'm like, oh, there's some like sleet coming in. And then all of a sudden I see in front of me, like as I'm about to cross the bridge, and there's like a hill that kind of goes up to the left. There's like traffic that's like stopped. And I was like, oh shit, better slow down. And then as soon as I slept on the brakes, it was like, Eat! I'm like, oh, this is going to be a ride that I am not going to be in control of. <laughs> And yeah, I ended up like sliding way off the road. Luckily, did not damage my car like at all. And I was able to actually get my car out of the ditch Mm. and pull it onto the highway. But what was funny is that there was a uh, policeman that was going down the median and he was just patrolling. He saw me fly off the side and then he saw me drive back onto the road and he was just like, you're good. (laughs) He's like. You look good, then. <laughs> Dude, That's wild. <laughs> yeah. He but, was just uh, making sure that I wasn't, like, fucked up, so. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been the ice, I guess. So you gave him, you gave him the thumbs up in return? Is what you're saying? <laughs> nah. You just gave him the thumbs up and stuck your tongue out like, Ah! Must have been the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a, you got a 40 taste to your hand. Yeah. It's gotta be the 40. The last one might have been too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Hey. He had one too many. No, I was in Kansas City one time for like Simon's treatment, and we were staying at the Arena Hotel, like right across the highway from Chief Stadium. And uh, that when you're driving into Kansas City from that highway, there's like a bridge that goes around like a pretty tight curve. The bridge itself is a curve, and it, like, snowed and ice that night, and I remember, you know, right, like you said, the, the bridge ices before the road or whatever, so I, like, slowed down to, like, 30, because I'm like, I'm not taking this at any speed I could slide at, which, yeah. I'm honestly, 30, but there was, like, people passing me and honking at me and shit, and I, I could see people, dude, as soon as they hit the bridge, start to slide, Every single car. And I'm like, oh. And then I look over, like, as soon as I came around the turn, there was, like, four cars up against the concrete barricade oh. on that side of the bridge. Oh, wow. Uh, morons, <laughs> dude. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> God, <man. laughs> No, I, I hope they were all okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You ever wreck a bike or anything? Yes, uh, motorcycle and bicycle and scooter. Uh, Dang. <laughs> uh, All in the same what else setting? has two wheels? <laughs> yeah. Anything with like like a gas pedal, a wheel, like uh, like I tried to wreck a gator, like one of those small like old four by fours or whatever. They're like a gator. Mm, yeah, the gator. <laughs> Another gator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I started a, a gator gang. Anyways, oh my god! But uh, so. I got the motorcycle one, which is pretty, pretty funny. Uh, so me and my buddy, so I had a, like a motorcycle within the last four years or for like a year I had it. And it was like a, it was like a, a uh, I can't remember the year. I want to say 20 or 2019 uh, Harley Davidson Sportster Iron 1200. And uh, so <clears throat> it was kind of a small bike anyways for me. And uh, anyways... 
me and my buddy were down at like around Grove and Monkey Island in Oklahoma. I don't know if you guys like know the area, but it's like a real nice place to cruise around and they have like restaurants around and stuff. So <laughs> we, uh, we go cruise around and we go out to eat anyways, uh, going like going back home, uh, we get, we got, we ended up at like this stop sign and then it's like right at a highway. And then we had to stop at the gas station that was across the, across the highway. And, uh, uh, there was like, like not gravel per se, but like, uh, I want to say lime rock road. Mm-hmm. And then like, you have to turn left into it. Anyways, uh, my buddy crosses the highway and you know, he makes it in there. And, uh, there was, there was, a uh, also like to point out, there was like a bunch of crotch, like crotch rocket riders there, or like sport bikes riders there, like a gang of them. Anyways, uh, I'm like, I don't know why, but, uh, when I went across the highway, I was, I was sloppy somehow. I don't know. I think I whiskey for a little bit, but uh, I get it up to the Lime Rock, and uh, it was like going 20 miles an hour, and I just like kind of maneuvered it to take the turn to the left, and then all of a sudden, I just I find myself like sideways drifting this bike oh, <laughs> for like a good like felt like 30 seconds, and then and then like it it like. Uh. I didn't hit the, it didn't hit the ground I don't think on the left but it was like like almost like on the left side uh drifting and then it like shot me off like it came went back to the other side <laughs> with you yeah with me off and uh luckily I was wearing a full face helmet I wasn't wearing gloves or boots uh, but I had a full face helmet and uh Do you have a jacket on uh no I didn't have a jacket on no. yeah I should have yeah. I I had a like a riding jacket like a legit riding jacket given to me from my brother and I, I should have worn it but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's so hot man <laughs> but anyways uh yeah one of the crotch rocket riders come up I don't know why I keep saying it like that but anyways uh they come up to me and they're like helping me pick up my bike because I don't know if you guys ever like picked up a bike that's fallen like laid over uh-huh. it is they're heavy. I believe yeah. it. It's, yeah. it's hard. Anyways, uh, so he helps me get that picked up, and then I was like, I was like, kind of disoriented or whatever, and uh, this old lady like comes out of nowhere from a car, and she's like, she's like picking up like a part of my tail light or whatever. And she's like, here, you might want to keep this. You might want to hang on to this as part of your bike. And I'm like, lady, I don't need. <laughs> any of these parts are on the ground right now. <laughs> I don't need this. Go. Go away. I don't need this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Not my grandma. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you. <laughs> That's my purse. You're not granny. Yeah. That's my purse. That's my turn signal. <laughs> but, uh, Insurance, man. They're definitely going to want to take a look at that tail light. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, so <clears throat> I ended up staying at this gas station uh, for a few minutes while my buddy went. He went uh, back home in Miami and uh, picked up. You know, we got in his truck and a trailer, and he came back. And uh, the whole time that he was going to do that, I uh, I was just sitting in this gas station at the table, just like just chilling, like bleeding, <laughs> bleeding out. Damn. The place. <laughs> like I, did, I had a uh, road rash, like on my right arm, pretty bad in places, like on my uh, upper like shoulder and then uh my right knee was super bad damn uh, and then my like left wrist like really hurt <laughs> and uh i i also noticed on the helmet that uh the like visor and everything was like completely scratched up so i was like oh thank god <laughs> yeah yeah because <laughs> i love my face sometimes <laughs> i like looking at it but, uh, <laughs> you don't want to be two-faced yeah <laughs> not yet <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the hero. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my buddy comes back with a trailer and we, we haul it back to, you know, my house and, uh, it ends up, like, it ends up, like, get, it didn't get totaled or anything. It just got, like, Harley Davidson came and got it and, uh, they fixed it up and everything. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> so I didn't go to the hospital right away. My, uh, my mom, she, like, helped me bandage it up and get everything. And, uh, like, I ended up just, you know, waiting the next day to see if my wrist would, like, not hurt. And, uh, like, it still hurt, like, the same level of pain, which was, it was just, like, annoying level. And, mm-hmm. like, I knew something was wrong. And so uh, we ended up going to the, uh, not the emergency room, but 
uh, I can't remember. Like urgent care? Yeah, urgent yeah. care. And uh, they did an x-ray, and it was like the ulna, ulna bone in my wrist Ugh. was broken. Mm. Yeah, so. I, Dang. Yeah, I was off. I was off work for like six weeks with this and uh, FMLA and everything. And uh, yeah, that was, that kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy, yeah, man. Yeah. Which bone is the ulna bone? <coughs> uh, it's the one on the outside, right? Like yeah, it's, uh, it's if actually, you hold your arm like palm up, it's the one on the outside. It's actually like right here. It's super tiny, actually. Well, yeah, when you oh, twist damn. it in, it comes yeah. this way. Yeah. Does it? I don't, I don't if know. it's palm down, it's you, on the inside. You fucking tricking me or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why your radius is called your radius, because it rotates when you turn your, your hand. <laughs> this sounds <laughs> like the damn Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is making sense, dude. Welcome to biology. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um... You guys want to give a quick Moonfall review? Let's do it. I know sure. you probably didn't watch it, David. <laughs> Moonfall? Yeah, did you watch it? I haven't watched Moonfall. I've watched Moon Knight, though. Moon Knight was cool. Oh, uh, Moonfall, Moonfall on the other hand. Oh, man. something different. That, okay. That's not bad. It was different, all right. <laughs> you want to explain what the movie was, Jackson, the premise of it and everything? Uh, the premise of the movie? Yeah. Moon Don't spoil falling. it. But <laughs> Is it that the moon is falling? Moon is falling. Moon apocalypse, baby. The moon has fallen, and the the reason why is because it's uh well I don't want to spoil that. Well, I mean, yeah, it's that's that's in the trailer. But guess what? The reason why, fucking aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and be the one to spoil that for you. You can probably see that in the trailers, but uh, yeah, it's all about like uh, the moon has fallen, right? And when the moon falls, crazy shit happens on Earth. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's yeah. really pretty much it. And there's a lot of gravity stuff in this movie. There is a lot of cool like gravity CGI scenes, but yeah, like this movie is is definitely goofy in some area. Like it could probably win win some Razzies for acting. <laughs> yeah, uh, that yeah. Sam Tarly dude was trying real hard. Yeah, the guy from Game of Thrones, Sam yeah. Tarly. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, and uh, as much as I love Halle Berry, she was not good in this movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, man. You yeah. can tell that this it felt like a pandemic movie. Like, 100%. Yeah, but it was obviously probably filmed before that, you know? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure they wanted to release it earlier or something. I don't know. But, like, it's a Roland Emmerich film. And... He made like 2012 and The Day After Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So, if you've seen any of those movies, then you know what kind of movie it is. It's like yeah, looking you back. You know what kind of dialogue something. to expect. <laughs> so, yeah. true. Connor, what do you think about it? Give it a six. You're gonna give it a six off of mainly visuals and concept and Sam Tarly. It got dock points for Sam Tarly. <laughs> Pretty hardcore. Oh Yeah. Sorry, dude. He was just born for Sam Tarly, and that was it. Huh? Yeah, he just wasn't good, <laughs> man. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, acting wasn't that great. I mean, maybe six is a little high. Maybe Jackson's right to question that. <laughs> we'll go with a five. <laughs> Completely average in every way. That's, that's what I would give it. Yeah. Dang. Hey, probably like watch it once just so you can say, you know what? I got to see all the cool CGI scenes, and I know I understand what they're talking about as far as the goofiness in it. But yeah, it's like I don't know. It's, I I think it's worth watching. Yeah, a five. Yeah, is, I think of, I think a four and above is probably worth a watch, depending on the four. Dep I'd, I'd probably get a six point <laughs> five or seven around there. It's not the best, but it's not awful. Yeah, my, my scale's way different than than yours, though. <laughs> Everyone's Se got a different scale. Yeah, I know, I know. I always think of 7 as, like, a great movie. And then, like, anything above a 7, like, you know. I think of, like, an 8 as a great movie. Yeah, like 7, 8. So if something's, like, a, a 6, it's like, it's good. 
Yeah, it's probably a six. If, yeah. if it's five, give it's it a like six. Yeah. Actually, okay, we're free. yeah, yeah, you make a lot more sense to me. It's about a six. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's worth a watch though if you like seeing the world getting messed with and like it's about to blow up. And there's that classic scene in the movie where, and if you've seen like 2012 or Day After Tomorrow, where the car is driving and they're having to escape from something and they're like bouncing and yep. at one point they go flying and the car just goes flying and lands in a crazy spot that it should not have made it to you know <laughs> mm. I told Rachel like halfway through the movie I was like they're driving that car a lot I guarantee here in a second <laughs> that car is going to have to do something crazy and go flying and boom it happened <laughs> I was like, yes called it called it some of the uh, dialogue from Halle Berry's husband when they're in the like main bunker for the military yeah. Is so cringy, dude. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I always like those movies, though, just because of all the crazy stuff that happened. All, like, the geographical and climate and stuff like that. Like, the physics and everything that happens. Like, Day After Tomorrow was, like, one of my favorite movies when I was younger. Man, I watched all those world-ending movies just because I want to see how the world ends. Exactly. Yeah, San Andreas, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, awesome I watch movies. all of them. I want to see, like, all the crazy, like, sci-fi scenes. Yeah. That's the only way you can, like, watch them in, like, not shitty 360p quality <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, because the script and acting is usually really bad. It's not even that the actors are bad. It's just, like, how do you act that, you know? Yeah. Some people can't improvise, I guess. Mm. And that was the Moonfall review. <laughs> that was Moonfall review. <laughs> <laughs> Another disaster epic. What, yep. what can we say? Yeah. And uh, what would... Hold on. Before we like move on, what would be like the ultimate disaster epic movie? Like, what's the, what's the best one? I liked 2012 a lot. 2012? You thought it was better than Day After Tomorrow? Uh, probably not. 20, Day After Tomorrow was probably better. But, I mean, there are other ones, obviously, not just his. What was the cause of the Day After Tomorrow? It was just a superstorm, or what, like, caused it? I don't remember. It was like a crazy cold front. I thought it was something in the core of the Earth, because they were in, like, Antarctica at first, and then, uh... They find out that, like, the water is boiling in there and stuff. And I thought, yeah, it was something with the core of the earth, but I can't, I don't really recall 100%. Huh. He's saying the core, I'm thinking about the movie. The, the movie, core. the core, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where they dove That's through it. I kept head. thinking, too. I was like, the core, the core, the core. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like core. That's all my brain started doing. We go, core, core, the core, the core. Isn't there a scene in the movie where, like, they're in that. Thing it's like they drop for a little bu- little while and they're inside like a diamond. Yeah, yeah. That part of the core. Yeah. yeah. Like, luckily we have a diamond cutting drill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say probably the day after tomorrow. Yeah. Man, I'm trying to think of just like all the disaster movies there are there. I'm like, I, knowing could probably be considered as that was what movie. I was gonna say first. I really liked that the movie. happening. Was the happening kind of that that deal too? Right? <laughs> no, <laughs> wasn't that? I'm like, not gonna count that one. <laughs> no. no offense. Okay, I wouldn't count. I wouldn't count that one. But all the honeybees, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> all the honeybees. Nature was pissed. Jack. I, I really <laughs> liked. Uh, Don't look up. Like the whole asteroid world ending deal. Yeah, I don't look up was pretty good. But it, even yeah. though, like, it was really just about the sociological ramifications of the end of the world and not the physical, actual ending of the world, and you know, until the very end. But yeah, what's that one movie with Bruce Willis? Armageddon. Armageddon. Ah, uh, beautiful. I love that movie. Yeah, but the world doesn't end in it. Yeah, yeah. But That's you get to true. live. See, live Tyler's belly. I mean, there is belly. a couple of disasters in the movie, but <laughs> there is a threat. I mean, yeah, there's a threat. <laughs> and Liv Tyler's belly. <laughs> and I, don't I do want love Armageddon, man. And this Kyle's is a Criterion film thing. collection, brush. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it either. <laughs> I'm blown, Jackson. I'm blown away. <clears throat> I was going to say uh, War of the Worlds. Or, yeah. Yeah, is that what it's called? War of the Worlds? War of the Worlds? Uh, yeah. That's yeah, a, a good one. one. Yeah, yeah, I really liked it. it. It was like, I think like growing up when I was young. I watched it when I was younger. Like, and uh, I just thought it was kind of, 
it was pretty scary uh interpretation of like aliens and everything and how they did it like uh how they came from they came from above and then they go into their the machines that are underground through the lightning yeah yeah to yeah. me that movie would have been so much better if those aliens would have like in like the scene like where like the they're like all fighting on the mountain or not on the mountain but on the hill and mm. like the sun like is like oh i'm going into battle or whatever in that moment it would have been so good if one of them tripod just would have grabbed Dakota Fanning <laughs> and just threw her as far as possible. It's like, <laughs> so, <laughs> I hate Dakota Fanning, man. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, dude. That's weird. I lo- I lo- <laughs> as, when I saw that, like, as a little kid, I was probably like her age, not, I was probably like her age or something like that whenever it came out. Maybe a little bit older. But, but she yeah, looked we so cool in the Twilight movies. Yeah, she did. She looked like a badass. You're not being sarcastic, right? No, she oh, did. Okay, yeah, no, I agree, definitely. The way they made her look in that movie was cool. It was creepy. It was kind of like yeah. a interview with the vampire. Like she looked, she looked kind of like that. Mm-hmm. But Dakota Fanning, huh? Yeah, I'm not a fan of Dakota Fanning. What does it for you? What doesn't it do it for you? <laughs> I don't know, man. There's just <laughs> there's like certain I don't know. You ever, there's got to be certain celebrities that you're just like, ah, I'm not a fan of them. Yeah, like True Millie that. Bobby Brown. I can give an example. Yeah, Millie, Millie Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. Yeah. I actually liked her more after I gave Stranger Things another chance. Yeah, another one would for you would probably be T.J. Miller. Well, yeah, because he's a dirt bag. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. You need a chart. I don't know. I'm I'm that way with the scary movie chick, dude. I cannot stand her, like the main character in all the scary movies. Oh, Anna Ferris? I Anna hate Ferris? her so oh. much, dude. Like, I, you don't like her in Just Friends? I don't hate her. I don't know her. But uh, no, dude, she's even worse than Just Friends, man. <laughs> dude, I love her in uh, Scary Movie 3, dude. Her character is so good. Oh, God. I, I, do I love like Anna her Ferris. in Ferris. Uh, yeah. I like, yeah, her, I like in, her in the movie 43. She's awesome. But you guys haven't seen that, so. Is that what well, we're going to have to watch next? That's the movie for oh, next dude, week. Oh, dude, please. Watch, watch the movie for Please watch it all the way through, man. It I'll is so it. good. I'll Jackson, it, have you dude. seen that yet? I think I tried or started watching it at one point, but I was just like... The ball chin thing threw you off? <laughs> probably not that. I was just like, mm. Dude, you would love that movie, Jackson. It's so funny, man. Should we should we start doing that every week? Having like almost like a... a book, like a book club? Like a, like a little review club. That's what the show is already, bro. <laughs> like, what, what yeah, we, we could have all watched Mad God by now. Is that out? Yeah, he just watched it. Yeah. He talked about it last it. week. Oh, okay, yeah. I, whenever I was listening to that, I was wondering if it was just the trailer that you were talking about. Okay, yeah, I'll no, watch No, I it. watched the whole movie. Nice. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, it's pretty crazy. But is yeah. it good? It depends on what your def- definition of good is. Okay. If you can stand to watch, like, what I would call just, like, an hour and 20 minutes of just art is pretty much what I would call it. Just dark-looking art. Because that's pretty much all it is. There's so not really dark. a good... There's not really so much of a storyline that's happening within the movie. You want to look at some dark? Dark? <laughs> <laughs> I want Dark. Dark. <laughs> I don't know. It's just cra- it's just crazy looking stuff, dude. Yeah. I mean, well, I'll definitely watch forty three. It's called the movie forty three. The movie forty three. Yeah. Like I said last time, all I saw was Hugh Jackman with the balls on his chin, and I was like, dude, I'm out. no, man, it's it gets so much better. The the Anna Ferris and Chris Pratt are in a skit together, dude, and it is freaking hilarious. It's so good. Huh. I wonder if that's where the movie where they like got together or something. Mm-hmm. You don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real quickly, I wanted to give a quick review of the new Chili Peppers album. Have any of you guys listened to it? No, I haven't listened to anything of it. Yeah. Have you, David? Yeah. You listened to the whole thing? Not the whole thing, but a good 75% of it, yeah. Well, that's fine. Um, <laughs> the album is not that great. It like the f- <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna lead into like it was so good, dude. Well, see, the first like four songs are really good, mm-hmm. 
um, Black Summer here. Uh, I think it's Hereafter, Aquatic, uh, Aquatic Dance. Uh, gosh dang, I can't even read my own freaking writing. Aquatic Mouth Dance. Yeah, that that song right there, dude, has a killer bass line from Flea on it, like the whole song, and it's it sounds great. Yeah, man, and this album is F- F- John Frusciante finally came back for this album. And he's he's the guitar player for the band, and he likes to bounce around a little bit. You know, he'll like be in the band for a little bit, and then he'll not be in the band for a little bit. And every album that has him in it is always super funky, and it always sounds really good. Yeah. Um, the second song is actually called "Here Ever After." That's actually my favorite song of the whole album. I would actually advise everybody to listen to that song. Black Summer, Here Ever After, and Aquatic Mouth Dance are so good. Yeah, Black Summer's great. Yeah, those three songs are the first three songs in the album, and they're great. It's, but, I mean, it's it's Red Hot Chili Peppers. You can tell Yeah, every song. You're like, yeah, that's a Red Hot Chili Peppers song. It's just something about it. It's like less upbeat. It's more mellow overall. It's, and it's right. kind of just bland. It's it, a little bland. It, they know? sound like they're, they've been listening to a lot of like fifties and sixties yeah. style music. They're like hippie kind of that music like yep. that. And then they just went with it. Sometimes in the music, did you realize that Anthony Kiedis lead singer, he was doing some like weird, like Irish. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. I did. The end of his words. <laughs> I almost Googled, is he Irish when I was listening to black summer? <laughs> yeah. It, he does this weird, like, like, how do you describe yeah, his it? Yeah, R, like, R. his R kind of... Yeah, I wish I could play some right now, but it, you just gotta listen for yourself. Yeah. yeah. Listen to, like, the first three or four songs, like, <laughs> like probably the first four songs, you'll really hear it in that, and it's like, what are you doing here, dude? <laughs> <laughs> and they'll throw it in, like, once or twice in a song. Yeah. And it's weird. Like, what are you doing? I, that's one of my notes I wrote down. I wrote... <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's voice does some weird Irish shit. <laughs> it's like, what is going on with this thing, dude? Yeah. But it, it, the first half of the and you notice it has like like what seventeen songs on it or something. Yeah, like that? it's got a lot of songs. It's like, man, wait, wait. it kind of reminds me of how Jackson described Tool's recent album. How it was like, yeah, it's Tool, but it's like nothing. There's nothing super catchy. There's nothing. Like, where you're like, oh, shit, this is good. This is Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know? You're yeah. just like, yeah, it's Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like, yeah, the, like I said, the first couple songs are like, <coughs> damn, this is some Red Hot Chili Peppers. And then mm-hmm. it's like, oh, this is some Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know? Yeah. Both sides of the yeah. coin in the same album. Maybe it'll grow on you. I've listened to it like f- four times. And every time I'm like, God, the back half of this album. If I got like a the vinyl, the first half would be great. And I would never flip it. Okay, <laughs> but whatever it'll it might grow on me. It's chili peppers, you know. Um. So, <clears throat> is there any, anything <laughs> you want to talk about before we move on to the next topic here? Uh, no, no, I I have nothing to talk about. So. An, so before we move on, then I guess, do you guys have any music that you're listening to that's new? They've been really wanting to just tell the world about. Oh uh, no! Spread the word. No, but I do want to say rest in peace to Taylor Hawkins. Yeah, yes. from oh, Foo yeah. Fighters. God, what a loss. Yeah, uh, I'm glad I uh, my first concert was uh, Foo Fighters down in Tulsa back in 2017. And, oh my God, that was awesome. really that's yeah. awesome, man. It was so a, cool. It was right after Tom Petty had passed away, so they did a tribute uh, song to him, and they played a uh, breakdown, I think. Yeah, and it was awesome. I love Tom, I love Tom Petty too because my mom she like she listens to Tom Petty a lot and plays him a lot. And he's pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome, man. <clears throat> yeah, that guy was a um, he was a musician, man. He could like play guitar, he could play piano, he could play drums, he could sing really well. Like he he did um was it a uh, it was a Queen cover, I think. Was it Bohemian Rhapsody? No. I don't know, but I watched a video the other day. He did a a cover of like a Queen song or something and just got Freddie Mercury like beat for beat, dude. It was crazy. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Like yeah, it sucks. 
I will throw out this one band though. It's probably not up your guys' wheelhouse at all. It's called Anamanaguchi. And it's like it's kind of like if you if you took like 16-bit chip tunes and mixed it with like modern EDM, but it's a band. So you've got one guy that runs the synth board and then he'll typically put stuff on loops and then he plays guitar and then they have another guitarist and a bassist and a drummer. But all of the guys have their guitars tuned to certain effects. So like all the stuff they play, like all the music that you hear is is really wild. There's a song called Endless Fantasy. If you're going to check out anything by them, listen to Endless Fantasy. But like you would not be able to tell that it's a band. It just sounds like a dude sitting in his like at his computer like making songs on his computer or whatever with like a a sound program or something, but yeah, pretty sweet. They're called On Your Mama's Gucci. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> check them out. I'm gonna look them up right now. On Your Mama's. <laughs> and, see what you find. <laughs> How do they spell Gucci? C O O C A. No, sorry. G. <laughs> Um, I guess, uh, one band that I recently, uh, discovered, which is, um, it, it kind of like sound like, a for anyone that's ever heard the band, Tony Danza tap dance extravaganza, Oh my god! they sound a little bit like them, but imagine if like, they just put a lot of glitch stuff in their songs. No. <laughs> <laughs> like. So it's like a lot of like really like hard hitting like breakdowns and riffs like just really like hard hitting but then all of a sudden it'll just glitch out and I don't know they really overuse like the glitch stuff and like it's like hey, all dude, kind, they're, they're all digital kind, okay yeah I mean it's like all done, <laughs> all like the like crazy stuff you're hearing is like done with like guitars and stuff like that but so you'll hear like laser dives and stuff like that like through the songs but the band is called Frontierer like Frontier but er. with an E-R at the end <laughs> Frontierer 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 <laughs> yeah it was but uh yeah I'm actually kind of digging it like I don't know when it comes to like metal music I can like usually like widen my like horizons on it easier than other genres I guess but I guess just rock music in general. Rock music in general, I'm willing to like listen to all kinds of different stuff. So, cool. Hmm. Frontier. Frontier. Interesting. For it's really annoying for to a say. glitch core. <laughs> glitch, glitch core. Gosh. <laughs> and Matt, Why do you do that to people, Jackson? Four <laughs> <laughs> seven. Look this up and listen to it. I think Connor's pulse has increased a little. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you got anything? Uh, uh, no, probably not a lot of people would care, but MGK released a new album like a couple weeks ago. Nice. It's, it's, Is it uh, more pop punk? Uh, yeah, it's it's all right. <laughs> like I, I don't know, I can't get into it yet. <laughs> I I got into uh, tickets to my down. Yeah, was it tickets to my downfall? Yeah, yeah. yeah I got into that album pretty hard, dude. Yeah, I'm not to. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Yeah, me either. Um, I don't think I've ever listened to a single MGK me song. Me neither. I don't, I don't want to hate against the guy because I've never listened to any of his music. His pop punk stuff he did with Travis Barker, that whole album. It's pretty good. It's like kind of got that old Blink-182 vibe yeah. a little bit to it. And dude, it's... And is it only because it's Travis Barker on the drums? Like, no, the, no, no, the no, no, the, it, it's because it semi sounds a little bit like MGK it was like, Travis Barker, I want to make a Blink-182 album, but I'm <laughs> The band. <laughs> no, like it's he, just going to be called MGK Pop Album. <laughs> album. MGK 182. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's surprisingly good. I listened to it for like a whole month straight, and my wife gave me shit about it every step of the way, but I don't care. I may be going to see him in August, actually, too. So. Yeah, I ended up seeing him in October. The uh, tickets to my downfall. Nice. Tour. Oh man, it was it was actually pretty fun. I watched it at the. Uh, the amplifier in Arkansas. Oh, the the Walmart one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, sure, I've seen it. Give us up. I just were you the one that shared that? Yeah. Oh, I was just say I thought I just saw that on Facebook. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, did I see this or was this an April Fool's thing that he's he's joining Blink One Eighty Two? 
The Sh- Machine Gun Kelly? It's uh, got to be a yeah. April Fool's. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like that anywhere. Okay, cool. There's no way, man. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I should have looked at the date when I saw that. <laughs> um, I want to bring this up earlier when Matt was talking about uh, the alien stuff, but David, you want to talk about some alien stuff. Yeah, should we take a break first? You want to take a break? I'd like to take a break. Yeah, Let's take a break. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. So, David, you had some hot, juicy alien talk. Yeah, 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 <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, on the 5th, um, the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, which was like a uh, like an alien program for the government that also kind of researched weird, like paranormal stuff, like to try to make invisibility clothes and stuff like that. Uh, it was only around from 2012 to 2017. People didn't know about it until 2017, but when they found out about it, um, the, uh, there's like a, a British web or British news website that has a place in the U S that re- that requested through the freedom of information act, all the documents that they had on like extraterrestrials. And so on the fifth, they released everything that they had of April this year. So I figured it'd be a good time to dig into some talks about alien stuff. Um, Real talk. Yeah. (laughs) So how many anal probes have there been? (laughs) Here are the stats. uh, The, uh, (laughs) gosh, the, the papers, I guess, some news websites went through them and they, they dug out like kind of the main touching points. And they found um, basically a bunch of people that claimed that they had either been abducted or had seen UFOs and they did like longitudinal studies about these people. And I guess there were claims that were verified, some not verified, but some verified, of people that had burns, radiation exposure, fevers, nosebleeds, heart palpitations, and nightmares that were a byproduct of being in close proximity to like a UFO or some type of alien something, right? And I guess some other people claimed like uh, unaccounted for pregnancies, telepathy, and levitation, but I don't know if those were like actually... Is that how the uh, mind freak got his power? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chris Angel, we want to talk to you. <laughs> um, but basically all of their research concluded, they said that yes, the government believes that there are alien forces deployed and they don't know their intentions or, or really what to do about it. But they have enough evidence on record to conclude that like, yes, there are probably aliens here, which is pretty crazy to think about. Wow. Aliens, you say? <laughs> if any of you guys are aliens, you have to say you are. I was about to say one out of five people are aliens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who looks most like an alien? Go. <laughs> <laughs> because of my long fingers. <laughs> I almost went for Jackson. But <laughs> I, was, I was about to say myself, honestly. Was, was That's because of my long fingers. <laughs> you got to get these ones cut off first. And, oh you know. Oh <laughs> uh, you would tell us, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. You didn't bring any probes? No, no, no not that kind of alien. That's just well, the thing Jackson. an alien would say. No. <laughs> no, you ever watch what's that movie with Vince Vaughn and the, uh, Jonah Hill? Yeah. Watch. Watch. Neighborhood Watch. No, yeah. Neighborhood yeah. Watch, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, I love that movie. Yeah, I love the. Al- uh, I can't remember his name, but the alien in that one. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. He goes to the orgy and then he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here." <laughs> <laughs> We're basically brothers. We went to an orgy together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When they when they hit it with their car and they're like touching the slime and they're all talking about like what it could possibly be and they're like feels like cum and he's like smells like cum like <laughs> that's, that's cum yeah that's cum <laughs> it's fucking green and slimy and they're like it's cum <laughs> uh, no anyway I just I wanted to talk about aliens you know so I figured we would uh, go through some popular alien stories that were like in the news and stuff that were pretty famous back in the day but I wanted to know if you guys had heard of anything crazy that you've read online, any kind of like UFO okay. sightings that you thought were interesting or abduction stories besides the fourth kind, which we all know was 100% real. <laughs> 100% and Independence Day, I remember. Yep. <laughs> it's a documentary, that movie. <laughs> if not, I'll just jump into my stuff I found. I've got nothing, man. Just ghost stories. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't mean something you saw. I mean something that you might have read that we were like, holy shit, you know, or like something you heard on a podcast or. Um, yeah, I've seen like several like like claimed to be UFO videos. Some of them, like whenever you watch them, you're like, all right, that one's definitely a fake one. Mm-hmm. And yeah. like so on and so forth. Like like you just keep going through them. And you're like, eh, don't know about that one. This one is like one of those freaking army cameras that for some reason is like, oh, it's just a black and gray photo. And that's it. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah like infrared or some shit like that. Yeah. And it's like, oh, well, here is a, the Tic Tac, as yeah. you can see. <laughs> and um, it's going into the water. It's in the water. <laughs> yeah. It's like that um, that video that they, they released, like the Pentagon released like two years ago or whatever, last year or whatever, where it was like the jets spotted something in the air flying with them. And it's like, yeah, like Jackson said, it's like a Tic Tac. And you're like, that's cool, but... There's no flashing lights, or it's just crazy how fast that stuff moves. Nothing moves that fast, you know, just on a dime turning and stuff. It was like it was flying with them, and then it was also like darting around a little bit. Like, that's so crazy. (laughs) Trying to show off, yeah. Yeah. Look what I can do. (laughs) (laughs) Have any of you guys ever seen uh, the movie Fire in the Sky? Mm -mm. I've seen Rain of Fire, (laughs) good movie. Uh, Fire in the Sky is, uh, I think it came out in the late 90s, maybe early 90s, but uh, it's based on actual events, you know, it's one of these alien stories, you know? Hell yeah. But uh, it's all about, uh, I think, uh, I think they might be uh, like lumberjack kind of people, you know, like they they (laughs) chop down trees, that's that's their job. (laughs) But uh, they're call them jackers, yeah, uh, Paul Bunyan type <laughs> yeah. jackers. So you got a bunch of bunions out there, <laughs> and they're chopping down trees, and then all of a sudden, like, uh, like these lights start shining through the trees. Hence, like the the volume song, like through the trees, their lights bleed or whatever. Oh, yeah, and uh, one of them gets abducted, and like throughout most of the movie, like you're like, dude, this guy's missing. Like, he's dead. Everyone is, like, looking at this group of guys that were with him, saying, like, what did you do? What did you do with him? And then all of a sudden, he, like, shows up, like, I can't remember how much later. Like, I think, like, a couple months. I don't know. I, I have to. It's been a long time since I've watched it. But good period of time goes by before, like, he just randomly shows up. And he's, like, shivering and cold and all that shit. And then he, like, basically recounts. Like, dude, I got abducted. And at one point, there's a flashback scene of, like, what happened to him. Like, aliens, like, where, like, where he wakes up in and he's in a pod. Poking him? (laughs) Poking his bunions? (laughs) They're getting close to his butt and just trying to push together. (laughs) They're piercing his butt cheeks together. They're all looking at each other like, confused. (laughs) <laughs> but that flashback scene is probably like the most horrifying thing I've ever seen like as far as like alien stuff goes dude cause that's like <laughs> they cut him up they, uh, they, they start experimenting on him and like one yeah. of the experiments that they do like involves a needle going directly into his eye <laughs> and yeah that's that was a hard to watch <laughs> Yeah, that's hard to watch never, moment never fun for him or for you to watch it's hard um, probably, probably both, <laughs> both ways, yeah. <laughs> all the above yeah anybody else have any crazy stuff they might have dug up online at, at some point I, I always see this video on the internet where it's just this chick on a plane and she sees like a, a UFO like just flying laterally and then it just like kind of I think I've seen that yeah like yeah. super slow it's like what is going on here yeah doesn't it kind of just look like a gray slash in the sky <laughs> yeah. yeah dude that's nuts um. Huh? <laughs> the only thing I gotta say is like, uh, yeah, you did pick up on telepathy, <laughs> telepathy vibes. Uh, <laughs> uh, invasion is really good. Um, I think that's on Apple, right? Something like that. Yeah. TV show, really good show about aliens, and then um, a good movie that's. Maybe not on everyone's radar. Uh, Attack the Block, which I think Jackson made me watch. I recommended it to yeah. you. If you want to watch a good alien movie, that one's a good one. Sweet. Attack the Block. That's a... Uh, uh, what's his name? 
There's a guy that did a uh, Boyega. No, he's the guy that did a uh, Baby Driver and Shaun of the Dead, like that whole Cornetto trilogy. Whoever oh, the director cool. of that is, that's that's the one that did this movie. That sounds pretty fun. good. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in my research about aliens, uh, I found the um, first. Um, Okay, well, I'll get to that in a second. So, in in 1952, uh, at the Reagan National Airport in Washington, D.C., there was, um, apparently they caught, like, unscheduled movement on the radar, and then, but it was, like, moving so fast, it was, like, a blip here, and then a blip here, and a blip here, so they couldn't, like, really pin it down or whatever. Um, and so they were like kind of freaking out. They couldn't reach out to it. It was nobody owned it or whatever. And they were like, maybe it was a mistake. But then other people in the area started to say that they saw stuff too. And airline pilots, like people that were like flying the planes and stuff said they saw something out there too. And then they got a whole bunch, they started getting a whole bunch of like emergency calls to the Pentagon and stuff like that. And so like to basically shut everything down, the, the government held the largest press conference since World War II at the time. And they pretty much just brushed everything under the rug and said it was just temperature inversion and meteorological phenomena. Oh, st- just like always. Yeah, Damn. which is, which is pretty weird. Excuses. Yep. Um, but then in, in 1961, this was actually the first ever recorded experience where anyone ever said they were abducted, and it's actually where the gray alien was first like brought up ever like from anybody. So it was like, I, I guess there was this... Uh, interracial couple driving home uh, in the 60s from like a concert or something and it was like a two hour drive home and they said they they left a restaurant at midnight and then they didn't get home till sunrise and they didn't remember the drive and their clothes were torn and messed up and all of their clocks didn't work like their watches and stuff were stopped and yeah. so it was like bugging them and stuff. And they, so they both, and they both lost their memory. So they're kind of freaking out a little bit. And then they went to a psychiatrist who specialized in um, hypnosis and she got the story out of them. And they started like saying, basically they were driving along and they saw a light following them in the sky. And so like the guy was kind of freaking out. And then I guess the light went ahead of them and stopped next to the road. So he pulled over and he got his gun. Cause he's like, what the hell is going on? And then he said he saw, like, figures coming out of the spaceship, like, big, tall, bald aliens with big eyes, you know? Cool. And then he ran back to the car, got in it, started driving, and then he said it followed them and then dropped a loading dock into the bed of the truck. And that was the last thing he remembered. So it was, like, flying with the truck. And then they, I guess, they abducted them, and they did experiments and stuff. And he said that... um, the woman had memories of one alien running into the room where she was at like, like kind of giddy and excited because she was like, it was like, Oh, the husband's teeth can be pulled out. And she was like, he has, he, she told the aliens he has dentures like fake teeth or whatever, but the aliens didn't understand. And then I guess she like, um, uh, yeah. At one point, I guess there was like a leader in the room and the woman asked the leader, like, where did you guys come from? And he said, if you don't even know where you are in space, there's no point in telling you where we come from. And then, like, I guess she saw a star chart at one point when she was in the ship and drew the star chart during the hypnosis session. It's freaking crazy, dude. Yeah. Uh, And then there's this one more I had on here. Uh, In 79, there was this um, county sheriff's deputy that was... uh, driving let's see oh so he's he was doing a patrol on a highway and he saw like some a light like hovering over the road and so he went to investigate because he thought it might be like a a stranded diesel driver or something like that but when he got close the light flew into his windshield didn't break the windshield but knocked him out like went through the windshield and knocked him out he had welders burn in both of his eyes and uh i think his nose was broken so it like he said it felt like a 200 mile an hour pillow hitting his face. And when he woke up his clock stopped. Like his clock had stopped and stuff. And I guess they did tons of like research into this thing that this guy claimed and they could not find a single reason or a single explanation that made sense still to this day. It was like 42 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And it kind of reminded me of like your dad's story about the ball of light that like followed him and his friend into their house or whatever. 
there's something out there, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I didn't know if you guys had anything, um, like, that you had, had might have seen. I guess, Kyle, you said you haven't really seen Nope, anything, thank so. God. Yeah. I, I don't I think I've told this story on the podcast before, but one time I was at Fort Bragg, and I was on, like, a two-week field exercise, so we were in, like, tents out in the middle of a field, and obviously we didn't have, like, big dome lighting or anything, so super dark. I was on night shift with a buddy, and we went out to the woods to smoke a cigarette, and I remember we looked into the sky, we saw like a light that was like moving like zigzags and patterns and stuff in the sky. And the whole time we're like, it can't be a helicopter. Helicopters can't dart back and forth that fast. It can't be a satellite because it's not just moving in a straight line. Can't be a plane. Like it can't be, can't even be a drone right. or like, and it was a cloudless night. So it couldn't have been like a laser light or a spotlight on the clouds or anything like that. And then it just stopped and like got dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Like it was like flying out of the atmosphere or some shit. So that was pretty crazy. Wow. Did you wish upon that star? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't wish upon shit. But yeah. that freaked you out a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever seen any UFO, like UFOs. I have like seen like what I thought were like airplanes. And like they would go like right behind a tree. And I would expect to like see it come right behind the other side of the tree. But then I would just lose it. Mm. And that would always get me thinking like, dude. Do, 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 do. Like, I just, dude, is that was a UFO, man. I should disappear, man. Yeah, like, call X Files, man. Let them know. <laughs> you ever seen some shit, man? No, I, uh, I am the one that you're seeing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we've established that. <laughs> I am the alien. At least you're honest about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my. My blood, you want to you want to know how my blood feels like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what it feels like. All right, let's tap him. I'll try yeah. to taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's some creepy stuff, man. I, mm. I definitely believe. I definitely believe they're real. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think that like they're abducting people? I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah. I, I wouldn't put it past. A different species to be testing another species to see what they're capable of. Yeah. I, I, I had read that there's like meetings that happen all over the country, like once a year in different locations where people all drive there that say they've been abducted and they all, it's like a, like a therapy session, like group therapy for people that have been abducted or whatever. But the problem that scientists like psychologists and sociologists see is that since there's so much information out there, it's so easy to fabricate a story or have a dream where you've been abducted and then come to, like, for you, for instance, that dream you had when you were younger, that, like, you could go to that meeting and be like, this is what happened when I was a kid. But it's so easy to fabricate because you've been seeing alien stuff all your life that it might have just been something you dream, you know? I was having a hardcore fever, so... Yeah, so I tried finding stuff like that, like the, the watches stopping... There were like these were two different stories, and it's like you can't, you know, like uh, if you see the guy's patrol car and you see okay the clock in the car is stopped, that's not something that the guy can just fabricate because he heard the story from the '60s about the the man and the woman whose watches stopped. That thing kind of freaks me out because that means it's like there's some kind of temporal thing going on, you know? Yeah, they're able to live maybe from another dimension. Yeah, that's how they're able to dart around so fast. And- yeah, there's got to be some kind of dimensional break that they're using to, like, zip around. And every time I hear <coughs> alien stories, my eyes and my nose start watering so hardcore. <laughs> it drives me nuts. Dang. Just no more aliens. Out. Oh, I, I love alien stories. <laughs> I'll bring some more next week. Please don't. <laughs> it's going to be a little while. <laughs> um... So I had an idea for something. I'm calling it Impression Wars. Okay. Impression Wars. <laughs> Impression Wars. <laughs> Impression Wars. <laughs> um, and I need a. I'd like to do this a few times. I feel like some of our impressions could be pretty spot on or pretty <laughs> god awful. We'll see. Both are good. Both are good. Um, so since there's going to be multiple, let's. Let's brainstorm here on a on a subtitle for every one of them. So the first one here, what do you guys want to call it? 
Let's get some first ideas. One. Let's get some ideas thrown out here. I thought First Impressions was a good name for the first one. But. First Impressions it is a good one. For the, are we naming the first round? Like, I'm confused. No, Impression Wars Part 1. What's it called? Yep, First Impression is probably the best one. I can't think of anything better than that. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> 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 I like it. I'm such yeah, a strong right. contender. Yeah. <laughs> what impresses you the most? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, David. David wins. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I think Connor wins it. Uh, I would vote for Connor. Impressionator salvation. <laughs> Come on, you guys can think of some. <laughs> I know he's got some cooking. Look at him I'm trying. <laughs> Impressionist. The impressionist. I don't know. Huh. Seven impression army. <laughs> I don't know. See, this is I, I wish this is why I wish we had drops because we'd just be like Impression. Just keep that on, man. Impression. Yeah. All right. A new impression. Kind of like a new hope. I like that. And then we can call the next one Impression Strikes Back. <laughs> so we'll see how this first one goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so I don't want to go first just because. It is your game. I'm trying to get my nose to uh, ah, cooperate, man, after that little ass last nose. alien section. Are you doing impressions, too? Oh, yeah, I got a little. Hell, yeah. <laughs> All right. I feel like you haven't had a lot of mic time yet. Uh, maybe not, no. <laughs> So to get us started off with some warm-up impressions, does anybody want to throw some out there? No. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> Connor, let me get your Yoshi. Russell! Oh, dude, that's good. That's so good. <laughs> that's dude, so good. That's when perfect. When we were kids, I caught her. You remember the nights when I was trying to go to sleep? And I would, I would just be, because I was on the top bunk, I'd be like, Connor, please do Yoshi. Yeah, and you would do it over and yeah. over and over yeah. and over again. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's funny, man. Oh, dude, I loved it when we were younger. Holy crap. It's Let me get another one, Connor. I don't know about no. that. Let me get another one. Russell! I love it, dude. God, you win automatically. It's like I haven't done that in like 10 years, man. It's crazy. <laughs> so good. Aren't we doing like a point system? Okay, yeah, we are doing a point system. So but I guess we'll all decide on like one to three points for the impression. We need some paper and a, like some paper and pencil. Do you see anything over there, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see anything over there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's uh, do let's it. Let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we need to, like, like before we get started, I'm not good at this. So yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maintain realistic expectations. <laughs> You guys are all gonna get this one, but yeah. I had to. I had to do it. This could be really good or really bad. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Okay. Tune in. Here I go. <laughs> hey, baby, you got girlfriend in Vietnam? Well, me so horny, me so horny. <laughs> Eat you fifteen dollar. Me rub you wrong time. Me so horny. <laughs> Oh, dude. Five dollars, sucky, sucky. Me love you too much. Dude. <laughs> Can we go to an Asian restaurant and you say that? <laughs> oh, that was... oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm easing you guys in, man. These get so much worse. Oh, my gosh, David. All right, so... so are we supposed to guess who that is? That? <laughs> I have no yeah, idea. I've got no clue what's going on. No clue. Really? Yeah. That's uh, Jackson knows for sure. <laughs> it's uh, the hooker from... Uh, mm, what's the movie? Full Metal Jacket. It is. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you have that too, Matt, or did you not know? I actually didn't know. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
I'm going to go ahead and give you probably a a two on that one. <laughs> All right, I'll take a two. Two seems fair. I'll, what do you I think don't know. What, what race was this, dude? Huh? What race was this, dude? She was Vietnamese. Vietnamese? It was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, during uh, the war in Vietnam. Okay. What will ten dollars give me? Anything you want. Okay. <laughs> huh? They would nice. have sex with the soldiers a lot back then in Vietnam. Yeah, they would. Yeah. That, yeah. That's For, a service. And a lot, money. Of them, a lot of them were spies. The hookers. Some of them were oh, really? Yeah, some of them were spies. Well, who would have thought? <laughs> yeah. Not this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Not this guy. All right, so I'm I, getting a two. I I feel twos. A very good score. I'll, I'll yeah. throw I'll throw a three, Matt. I mean, I hear it referenced a lot, so I'll give it a two. All right. Yeah. Really? It was, it was a pretty easy go-to. Yeah. Two sounds good. Right. It was a filler. But just to be clear, you are horny? <laughs> so horny. Hey, how, wait, wait, hold on. How much? I have 15. <laughs> <laughs> I think said 10 bucks, man. Yeah. Like, you know. That, that one after guy's this, like, huh, go ahead. After this podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be busy. So, so is it like five for handy, ten for sucky? Yeah. <laughs> that one guy's like, my mom doesn't allow me to spend more than $10. <laughs> I would say the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would be that loser. <laughs> I guess. But like, if I was that hooker, I would be like, really? Your mom's going to stop you from having sex right now? <laughs> uh, You're in Vietnam in a war, bro. <laughs> All right, Kyle. I want to hear it. Oh, man. That's why I'm not a hooker. Okay. After the captain, man, I know it's going to be good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to destroy you. After tonight, no one will ever again question my power. After tonight, if they speak of you, they'll only speak of how you begged for death and how I... Being a merciful lord obliged. That was really funny, Kyle. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was Voldemort. I have no idea. <laughs> it was Voldemort. Oh, it was Voldemort. Okay. <sighs> okay. Were you going to guess that too? No, honestly, yeah, I've watched Harry Potter and I know about Voldemort. Oh, and I've, I honestly wanted to try a Voldemort impression myself, but I didn't. I didn't, couldn't recognize well, it. Well, <laughs> if I'm going to do that one, I got to. Okay, what's the score first? What do you guys give it? Uh. Okay. I'll give it. I'll give it three. I'd give it a one. I mean, I sorry, not a one, a two. <laughs> yeah, I give it a two as well. I'll give it a two. I feel like that was pretty good. You, Thanks, get, you got better. Thanks towards the end for sure. <laughs> well, see, he does multiple voices when he does Voldemort. So, yeah. it, like, That's true. if if you gave me that point, I'm gonna go and throw two more Voldemorts out there. Avada <laughs> Kedavra <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nagini. <laughs> Those are my two go-to. You got Those any uh, parcel tongue you can hit us with? No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess mine would be, I can touch you. <laughs> Kill the spare. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite He's one. Like, Spin me around, wipe it. It's like a give up. Get a proper welcome. <laughs> Near me, like yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I mine is kind of different because I, I, I just couldn't choose which one I wanted to do. So oh, you're pulling names out of a hat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mine is a bunch of impressions box. Oh my <laughs> god, Jackson, you're crazy. So I'm just gonna reach in. We're gonna. I told you this guy goes hard, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to do, bro. So I, I can't decide. It's like choosing children. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh. Bow out in the easy. Shoot the NCAA tournament. They're playing basketball. Some people call basketball. I like to call basketball. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> God, I can't stop. I can't do this without cracking up, dude. <laughs> Go, Brian. Beat you the ball. <laughs> some people, some people will pass the ball. He, he wouldn't do. He always shoot the ball. <laughs> God. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal will be like, why you don't pass it for (laughs) 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 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'll give, I'll give my first three for the originality. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. Is it what's the is it a total of three or is it out of five or what's this what's it's the one through three. One through three? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've been deserving twos, Kyle. <laughs> you, you deserve y'all deserve two. I'll be giving threes because I was like, this is a scale of one to five. <laughs> I was like, three is average. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Y'all yeah, twos. Twos all around. <laughs> you ain't special. Yeah. I'd say uh for that remark, I'd give that a two, Jackson. Well, you know, I'll, <laughs> I'll talk shit as you grade me. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that. I'll give it a three. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll give it a three. It's pretty good. Well, we'll thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll do two. He's going to do two. I, don't I give it a three already. Ah, uh, three. Uh, but now you're being a dick, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't play very well in the game as far as the future goes, but. All right. All right. Uh, okay. You're a garbage. You kill for money. <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> I got you. Uh, dang. Hold on. Oh, there's a there's the same line again. Oh my god. You're garbage. You kill for money. No, but I know how you got these. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, I don't know if if he says this or if the other person says this. Uh, uh, If you... If you're, I'm pretty sure you're doing who I think you're doing. <laughs> yeah, if you're doing you, gotta, you're you gotta doing. say the line though. Oh, well, come on! Oh, I don't know the line. Uh, hold on, let me. I can't think of it. <laughs> I know the line, but I can't think of it. Oh, my word, hockey pants! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was the line. My bad. <laughs> I'm not wearing hockey pants. A's for Alfred. <laughs> B is for Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll man. give that one a two. I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three, yeah. I feel like a two is a good good spot. Yeah. Oh. Our, our first 2.5 of the game. They All exist. right. I'll, I'll say they exist in the game. Split decision. Okay. You're, you're, you're All right. Scored. All right, Conrad Bee Gees, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I guess it's my turn. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Well, you get it, bro. <laughs> I don't even want to start laughing before you go. Okay, okay, you got this. Okay. That's a three. That's yeah. a three, three for me. I'll give it a three. I'll give it <laughs> <laughs> Just for the fact that you went with the... <laughs> I know. At the beginning, I was like, it could be anything at this point. <laughs> I was like, it's a fucking ghost or something. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> all right. You guys are all going to get this one, but I had to throw it in there, man. I had to. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Gator, don't play no shit. You hear me? <laughs> Gator, never been about that. Never been about playing no shit. <laughs> Whose baby is that? Who did that to you? <laughs> Gator's bitches better be using Jimmy's. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love that movie. I love that movie, man. Well, that's Gator, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Will Ferrell. Uh, two. Yeah. I feel like a good two. Solid yeah, two. two. I couldn't nail that very well, but... But I, I, energy. Brought Gator into I didn't yeah. know the character... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What movie is that from? Uh, the other, the guys. other guys. Oh, yeah. I've only seen the other guys like one time. 
That's oh, probably man. one of my favorite Will Ferrell movies. Yeah, it's great. And yeah. I still can't believe that they haven't made a second one because mm-hmm. I thought that movie was probably the... I don't know. It's it's insanely funny, man. Yeah. Pimps Don't Cry. Yeah. Yeah, Pimps Don't Cry. <laughs> Hang for the bush. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up in the morning, yeah. put your big boy pants on. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I did last night? I drank a lava lamp. I had sex with a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> Is that love? <laughs> <laughs> we will have sex in your car again. It will happen. <laughs> if you guys don't get this one, there's something wrong with you. All right. Like a little farther back. It's a great way, hold on! <laughs> this is a way, fight! And this is my day, die! Remember this day, man! For all be yours for all time! Oh my god. That was legendary. Yeah, take some clothes off here. So aggressive, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love the beginning oh part, dude. The only thing that would have made that better is if, yeah, you took your shirt off and you had drawn on, like, fucking packs and hats. <laughs> <laughs> we will for the shade. Fight <laughs> <laughs> the shade. Uh, I wish I could redub some of those movies. Just so we be like, so we, sh- oh, we shall fight the shade. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give that a three. I'll give it a three yeah, for that's commitment. A, that's a three. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it a three. It's good energy. Yeah, I think my vocal cords are fucked. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have said that for last. Yeah. <laughs> Sounded like my man TJ doing vocals for a bit, dude. Oh my <laughs> god. Boom! <laughs> 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 All right. The next one to be done. Tell me more about the Beach Boys if you can. Good I'll... Yeah. 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 I yeah. don't know. I'm not going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> it was Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'll give that one a two. Zazu. <laughs> that was an even worse version of it. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give it a two. Yeah. Yeah, two, two for me. Two. Two. I don't know who it is. Jackson. Oh, uh, two, uh, two. <laughs> Jafar, Jafar's parrot. It is uh, oh. Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll say two. Fa- famous yeah, for uh, also being the Affleck duck before he made a uh, joke about the Japanese tsunami. <laughs> oh my god. Then they stripped him of that. We call that bad boy. <laughs> don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If there's one thing the Japanese are good at, it's dodging waves. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. What's next for Matt? All right. Um, pull up this web page real quick. Oh, then that's the rule you'll have to break to know the truth. <laughs> okay, this one's awful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. I can't. Oh man, these these mob fools want you want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. <laughs> Change things forever. I've seen a pattern. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Mm. These are all Christian Bale movies. <laughs> Oh, you look nervous. Is it the scars? You want to know how I got them? <laughs> Come here. Hey, look at me. So I, I had a wife. She was beautiful, like you, who tells me I worry too much. <laughs> who tells me I ought to smile more. <laughs> who, who gambles and gets in deep with the sharks. One day, they carve her face, and we have no money for surgery. <laughs> she can't take it. I just want to see her smile again. 
I just want her to know that I don't care about the scars. So I stick a razor in my mouth and I do this all to myself. And you know why? <laughs> she can't stand the side of me. <laughs> that was a little too loud. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go a three on that one. I'll give you I'll give you a three on that one. I'll go I'll go three. A tree. Uh, yeah, we'll go three. That was some commitment. Yeah, it got better too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I figured out how to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> and I use like my braces to my advantage because like yeah, he like uses the mouth props. Like mm. and he's like always sticking his tongue out and he's just talking and like they use that. You know, they're like, yeah, that's actually pretty cool how he did that mm. on the film and everything. So like yeah. keeping that in. Yeah, his Joker did kind of have like that. Uh, what do you call it? That <laughs> uh, shit. I can't even think. Of, I should. I should just fucking shut up whenever I lose my track. It kind of sounded like no. he had Botox in the whole movie or something. You know? No, I was like, gonna say like because he does that whole tongue thing. He's yeah. like the dude from fucking Harry Potter. Got yeah. Fire. <laughs> Hello, father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I just couldn't think of his name. All I could think, all I could think of was Junior. Yeah. Monty <laughs> Crouch. Yeah. Junior. <laughs> The thing about street fights, the street always wins. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> Dominic Toretto. Dominic Toretto. Um, oh, okay. Oh my god. I'll give it. I'll give it a two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking it too. I'm so- sorry, Connor. I'm gonna give out my first one. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give out my first one. What do you think, Matt? What do you What do you give it? Uh, I'll say two. Two? Okay. Two? Okay. I'm being so a little generous two. here. We'll go ahead and say two. <laughs> okay. You like you didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God dang it. I can't believe I put this one on here. <laughs> God. Oh, all right. Your key go to a chest, and it is what is inside the chest you seek, <laughs> don't it? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Jack Sparrow does not know what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one, last one. Oh, my God. You know I'm David Jones, yes? <laughs> a man of deceit, a great sailor, until he ran a fall of that which vexed all men. It was a woman. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Is, that, is, is her name Calypso? Yeah. Uh. Tia Dalma until she, yeah. Uh. I'm giving that a straight up three. If yeah. I can give it a four, I'll be like, holy crap. Yeah, that's a three. That's a three for me, man. Oh my I'll give God. it a three. Yeah. <laughs> that was spot on, bro. I don't know how you get your voice to do that. That was dope. That was dope. <sighs> Oh, just wait. Okay. <sighs> the time traveling is just too dangerous. Better that it. God, I'm ruining this one. <laughs> <laughs> Better that I devote myself to study <laughs> of other great mysteries of the universe. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Oh shit. Oh. I have no idea. Oh my god. <laughs> so do we have any guesses? Yeah, Will you repeat it? <laughs> you okay. repeat it? Alright, here, here goes round two, dude. I have no idea what you said. Okay. I was laughing. If I can't mess it up. <laughs> my nose kind of messed me up here, dude. Okay, I'm blaming on my nose. <laughs> Okay, let me, let me find it real quick. Okay. The time traveling is just too dangerous. Better than I devote myself to study the other great mystery of the universe. Women. <laughs> I, uh, for some reason, I want to guess Marty. Like the end of Back to the Future but, 3? Yes. It's Doc, right? Yeah, yeah. it's Doc. Sorry, not Marty. Yeah, Doc. My bad. It's Doc. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna 
I may have to give that one a one. Yep. <laughs> I would give it a one as well. I'm going to throw a one, too. Yep. Dang. I'm going to throw a two. That made me. Yeah, I'm Thanks, man. Thanks, one. dude. All right. A 1.5. We'll Another take it. Another split. I'll okay. take it. Here, hey. Here's what I'm thinking. Like, you guys are thinking each of these are, like, the same. I'm thinking that a two is, like, a big... Two's fat. One's really tiny. Three's really tiny. But two, two's fat. Yeah. Yeah. Same. That's what I'm saying. You think two is the highest score in this scenario? No. No, I'm saying no. like the gap. Instead of it being like 33% on each, you know, they're even. You're thinking they're all even, evenly spaced. I'm thinking two is a fatter margin. Yeah. It takes almost, up more space than one and three. It's almost like one is one and three is five and two is two, three, and four. You know what I mean? Yeah. But six. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go to six. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> So you thought? So you guys don't think mine was complete garbage? It was one point five. The first one was garbage. The second one was better. Yeah. Yeah. I, enjoy, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the first one when you like went. Oh my god! Bro. Yeah, that was Did funny. that high? <laughs> 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 can't help myself. Like, I can't help like, myself. Like straight up coyote. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Uh, what do you got? What do you got, Jack? Uh, let's find out. We got a good morning, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go fishing with my pool. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would. <laughs> like destiny. <laughs> Can you say alphabet soup? Alphabet soup. <laughs> Can you say, Three. Can you say I did it? Well, I did it. <laughs> like you're admitting to a crime. <laughs> oh, I did it. <laughs> oh my god! I give that a three. Yeah, that's a, good, a three for me, man. Right, I'll thanks. give you a three. <clears throat> I'm going fishing with my boy. I'm going fishing with my. I'm going to back up a bit, Mister Foot. You're you're out of focus. <laughs> Ladies and oh, no, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen. As I address this hall as president for the final time, let me recount the progress that we've made these last eight years. From the depths of the greatest financial crisis of our time, we've coordinated a response to avoid further catastrophe and return to a global economy to growth. We've taken away terrorist safe haven, strengthened the non-proliferum regime, resolved the Iranian nuclear issues through diplomacy. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> that's Obama, right? That's, that's Obama. Like, yeah. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> my dear Phil. <coughs> my I've been thinking Phil movie Obama. quotes this entire time, and so I've just been like, "What movie is this?" <laughs> yeah, I, I almost did Obama. I feel like all I'd have to say is "my fellow Americans." <laughs> <laughs> you have to like put an emphasis on the last word of every sentence. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay, yeah. I'll give it okay. two for me. Yeah. You see. Being in a democracy is a gnarly partide. <laughs> it's a gnarly institution. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah, give him a two. three. I'll give him a three on that. Two. I'll go two. Yeah, two for me. What's uh Hon, what did you guys say? Connor said three, two. we said two. Then, All right. Them's the two boys and you All right. use the two boys. Alright, so that'd be a two with the majority. Alright. After this one, I'll let everybody know where they're at. Don't. Right. Don't. Don't. You got two rounds left after this. We got a lot of impressions in this podcast going on, brosh. Okay. <coughs> Don't try to frighten us with your sorceress ways, Lord Vader. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes, <laughs> or has given you clairvoyance enough to find the rebels hidden for... <laughs> 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 I find you laughing at the face of the And that's my Samuel Jackson if he was our later. <laughs> Dude, I love that guy so much. <laughs> the way he talks. Oh, <laughs> I know who it is, but I don't know his name. Yeah, yeah nobody knows his name, yeah. Yeah, he's just a random lieutenant, captain, yeah. something. Yeah. General. 
I'm gonna give you a three for the choke, oh. man, for oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. awesome, dude. Yeah, that was definitely a three, bro. That was freaking sick. Thank you. I'll say a three. I'll go three. Oh, that means a lot, Jack. I liked your Jackson's choke at the right time. That was pretty yeah. Cool. yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> I was right. I knew it. I knew it immediately. <laughs> yep. I mean, Lord Vader kind of gave it away. Right, uh, yeah. God, how much better that movie would be if Samuel L. Jackson, if it was just Samuel L. Jackson's voice as Vader. <laughs> <laughs> you are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Take her away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, scores. After round three, uh, myself is sitting at a total of eight points. Kyle is sitting at six and a half points. Connor is also sitting at eight points. David is at seven. And Matt is at seven and a half. Mm. Uh, Who's at six and a half? Is that you, Jackson? That six and a half is... uh, Oh, Kyle. Kyle I was like, no way, man. As of right now, it's me and Connor (laughs) tied. I'm I'm about to bag a three right now. (laughs) Big bag, a three banger. <laughs> a three banger. <clears throat> All right, you guys ready? Yep. Hey, everybody. Harry Carey here. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to space. The infinite frontier. Hey. Let me get it. <laughs> Is it Harry Carey? <laughs> Keep it going. I once took a pair of binoculars and stared at the sun for over an hour. <laughs> Curiosity, I guess. Heck, I'm curious like a cat. Some of my friends call me Whiskers. Hi, Howard! Yeah. It's a simple question, Doctor. Would you eat the moon if it were made of ribs? I know I would. I'd go back for seconds. Then I'd wash it down with a cool Budweiser. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, that's man. Will, Carroll, Will, uh, Will Ferrell's version of Harry Kitty. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, it's so good, dude. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I'll give you a three for that. that I'll really give you a three good. for sure. Three. Three. You called okay. it. Called yeah, it baby. <laughs> he pulled the three out. Wait till my next one. He it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm getting a three next one. And the two's it's Fernie Goody, it's Pony Honey Goody, it's Family Shirt Notes, and this Hootie Goody Goody. And the Hootie Goody is Hootie Really Good. And that's all goes with it. Vin Diesel. <laughs> no, that's a chef from Muppets. Yes. Oh, I don't yeah. know his actual name if he has an actual name. I think, is he just a chef? He's just a French chef, but everybody just calls him chef. Oh, man. Man, every time I think of that dude, like he's always got like this... Tune that he was always humming as he was uh-huh. like entering. He's like, bark, bark, bark. <laughs> we saw the right. chef, or we saw oh, Mupp- Muppets live at Disney World, and the chef was the funniest part of that whole show, dude. Awesome. So good. I'll yeah. give it a three. Yeah, I'd say three material. I'll was, throw, I'm going to throw a three too. Pretty spot three. Can Jackson get a three? Can I also throw out my beaker? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> we all got a beaker. All right. All right. Uh, this one time, I was like, like hanging out, hanging out, and then oh, was it started raining, and then. I got wet. <laughs> yeah? Yeah! <laughs> totally! If you didn't get it off of that end, then, I don't know. Can't help you. It's Australian. Uh, Is that your Jason what? Statham? Is that your Jason Statham? Dude! If you, I could do Jason Statham. <laughs> Is that the turtle from Finding Nemo? No, bro. Nickelodeon show. Nickelodeon show. Skid show. Kid show. It's from uh, some sort of rocket power reference. Rocket power. Maybe? No. Can you do, do something else? 
<laughs> totally. Oh, totally, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, there totally, you go. Kyle. Totally. Yeah, totally. <gasps> totally. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna have to throw out my first one of the night. You, if you knew that Kyle hated that, you wouldn't have done that. Oh, he hates totally, Kyle. I love totally, Kyle. I think totally, Kyle is <laughs> yeah. awesome. He's totally, he's totally Kyle. Kyle. Kyle hates all totally Kyle, and he hates Kyle. Yeah, no, I like totally Kyle. Yeah, sometimes I'll go, I'm totally Kyle. But, <laughs> no, well, no, he okay. hates it. He hates it. That's why he gave you a one. Uh, I'm gonna, gi- I'm gonna give it a. I'm probably gonna give it a one too, honestly. All right. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell one. <sighs> okay. I'll do it too. All right. Thank you for the two. <laughs> <laughs> It's a majority one. <laughs> okay, all right. So the little pest chose to intervene from the sidelines. They just will rest until I've been pushed to the very limits of my patience. You meddling brats, I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet. Ah, uh, okay. Uh... See. None surpass me. No one even comes close. Etch this into your skull. I am the emperor of the universe. Oh, uh, Putin. No, no, dude. That's Emperor Pilaf, right? Uh, no, really? That's no. uh, Frieza. Yeah, Frieza. Oh, man. I, 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 threw, I threw a joke one out there first, Putin, but I knew it was Frieza. Uh, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty good. Nice, nice. I, okay. I've been practicing Frieza for a long, long time because I've been a DBZ fan. Like, uh, I got other lines like, uh, you stupid monkeys. <laughs> Just I'll give that a two, man. I thought that was really good. I'll, I'll give it a three. I like Frieza. I'll give it a three. Give it a three. Okay. Uh, what say ye? I'm what say ye? I'm gonna have to give it a two, man. Two? All right, two point. I was on the fence, mm-hmm. but I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Check out this note she left me. In case you called and I answered the phone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh Dear Robbie, <laughs> if Joe calls, don't tell him I found his parents. <laughs> I'll be back in a few days. And see, she signed it right here, Brandy. XO, XO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I feel like. You want to play some bumper pool? Yeah. <laughs> I just put up with you, dirt. <laughs> uh, uh, Robbie from Joe Dirt, in case anyone's wondering. Yo. I'm going to say two. Yeah, we haven't been given the character names to a lot of these. And yeah. that's part of the game is guessing who the points were. Yeah. Have you not been recording points for who our guesses were? No. Yeah, yeah that was it's part too, of the scoring. Yeah, Especially since half of us have been saying... <laughs> Dear Robbie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, like, someone else said their name, like, right yeah. at the beginning. Mine, 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 Harry Carey here. Harry Carey here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so whatever. So yeah, I'll, give, I'll give that one a two as well. Two? Yeah. yeah, I'll give it a two. <gasps> two. Some people call me. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> All right, put me down for two, baby. <laughs> And right. shine, final player. round. <laughs> final round. We're in the we're in the long run. Here. Final, final round. All right. I've been I've been working up for this one, man. Oh my god. Yeah, mine too. All right. All right. God. Father. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! He ain't my father, <laughs> Mr. Geppetto. <laughs> Excuse me, Pearl. <laughs> Are you acquainted with Monstro the Whale? <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any guesses? <laughs> no. I couldn't, yeah. <laughs> Is that from Pinocchio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured Pinocchio, but I can't. Yeah. I can't guess the character. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long. <laughs> That was awesome. That was uh, Jiminy the Cricket underwater looking for Geppetto. Okay. Okay. Geppetto! 
That was I so good. I give that a three. That yeah, was really I definitely good. Give that one a three. Yeah. The effort, dude. Hundred percent a three. Oh. Mandy and I were trying to sound like like old Disney characters, like old Disney princesses, and, and the recording was bad. Like Snow White when she's singing, it's like, <laughs> solid final round score right there. Yeah. Let me get a warm up. <laughs> warm him up. Caps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, Jackson. You're Mickey Mouse. Dude. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Oh, <laughs> okay. You're a monster. Eat me. No, not the buttons. Not my contract. <laughs> buttons. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man! <laughs> Oh my That's god. That's pretty good. Yeah. Eh, I'll, I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. Prince. I'll go three as well. Thank you, brother. He, he worked hard for that three. I'll go three because it seems like he got a three. <laughs> <laughs> Which character is that? Gingerbread um, man, right? Yeah. Like Gingy. Gingerbread, Gingerbread man. You're a monster. Kyle, you got those sunglasses? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I got a pair up there, yeah. Alright. He had to find it. He's got, he's getting back into character. I feel it. <laughs> it's coming. He's going for three. <laughs> Alright, I should probably take this off. I don't need this. The hair will probably work with it, maybe. <laughs> I'm so to fucking check this. <laughs> And I was, I was like, I'll be, we're in the middle of a, re- a college session. <laughs> and then, and then, we fucking, the, 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 the blokes, they come in here and they, they fuck up everything. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I have to record. I'm on the rail, crazy <laughs> train. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was. <coughs> I thought about doing Aussie. <laughs> yeah, that was a good Aussie. That, that, yeah. I felt the key part of that is to <laughs> and then just be able to sing normally. Yeah. Bumble. <laughs> and then say blokes every now and then or wankers. Yeah. Or Sharon! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you guys give it? I'll give it a three. I give it a three. I go two. Uh, I go two as well. 2.5? 2.5. Two point five. You guys should easily be able to guess this one. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Sammy, tell me, Bambi or Yoga ever hunt you back? Dad's on a hunting trip. He hasn't been home in a few days. Uh, driver picks the music. Sh- shotgun shuts his cake hole. <laughs> like I'm butchering this. <laughs> Uh, you're my uncle when I was four years old. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't think these memories would come back. Or not. Uh, Sam, I'm telling you, I don't think Dad wants to be found. Check this out. It's a news item out of Blaine's Courier, Ankeny, Iowa. It's only about a hundred miles from here. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Is that, ba- is that Batman again? <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh. Is is it Liam Neeson? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm lost. I have no uh, idea. Is it is it from Lost? No. Oh. Who, David who said you? Lost. And oh, okay. Uh, it's Dean Winchester. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bro, I don't know. I don't know. I still I, from Supernatural. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, okay. there you go. I've never watched it. Oh. Shit. <laughs> what do you guys give it? I don't know how to score it, dude. I don't know. <laughs> That's like me doing an impression, and then you're like, "Well, who? I don't know what Huckleberry Finn sounded like." <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> 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 
Uh, I'd give it a one. Sorry, Matt. It's all good. Man. <laughs> so, I'll, like, probably, I'll probably go with the one, too, man. I don't. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with the two, so I don't sound like these guys. <laughs> I'll go with the two, so 1.5. Well, didn't end that the way I thought it would, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last score. By the way, David is currently in the lead. Uh-oh. I don't know, man. This last one, I could, I could easily mess this up. So don't hate me. I mess it up. I've been feeling less and less good about myself the farther I've been getting into this. <laughs> you'll just have to, you'll just have to bring it for impression wars too, man. Yep. The level will be notched. All right, so here we go. And it's like that little bitch MVP. I don't give a shit. You know, I don't like that little bitch. Bust that open. I want that ocean. Yeah, that bite back, little bitch. Do a bite back, little bitch. Need to life jacket, little bitch. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna pressure you. Never control you. I ain't gonna front you. Keep it one hundred. I don't know you. That's like boss, like top dog. Boss my life up constantly. <laughs> Crossing over. Still the stepping. Gotta. Okay, now I'm done. I'm not good enough. You're not gonna go get it. I gotta. Go, I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it. <laughs> It's too hard, man. <laughs> oh my god. You're a tourist. Oh. God, what score do I give that? Oh. That was really good, Connor. Yeah, I like that. I give it a two. Pass my subsurrent. I'm a car. Chitty, man. Bitch, I'm on a roll and I put that on the gang. <laughs> Dang. I'm on the fence again. Yeah, me too. I'll say two. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna say one. One? Ooh. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say Connor. It sounded like you really didn't try. Yeah. It didn't <laughs> sound like you were trying, it just sounded like these are the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, I'll, give you, I'll give you a two on that one. Yeah, okay. go, I liked it. I'll go two. Okay. I feel Jackson's criticism is because he's keeping score and he's trying to hold me back. He's trying to hold me down. He's trying to win the game. 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 He's trying to win well, well, here's the thing. <laughs> you needed to get a three to tie David. Oh, David is the winner man. of Impression Wars Part 1. Good job, did dude. You in, did these two tie? What was Kyle in the end? Uh, pff, Kyle in the end, he was... Oh, damn it. I gotta do math. Why did I do Point decibels five. in this? Oh, okay. Just to confuse myself. Uh, he ended at <laughs> 12 and a half. Is where Kyle ended. Mm. Uh, Connor, he ended at. Let's see. see. <laughs> fuck, why did I do this? <laughs> so you Come can't on. even count the score and yet you know who won. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Something doesn't smell right. <laughs> he's, he's I like, believe you that David won, but he's can like, you convince he, me a little bit better, please. He's like, David won. Oh, he's like, wait a minute. No, I was supposed to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I scored a total of 11 and a half. Kyle got 12 and a half. Kenner. Got 15 and a half. Oh, I, I added these up wrong at some point. No, no, that's right. No, you, you scored 12. 12? Okay. Yeah, total that, 12. Uh, even number. I'm good with that. <laughs> and David, 13. 13? Damn. Respect. Matt. Close, bro. Yeah, if I wouldn't have messed up that Doc Brown. Eleven and a half. If I would have said, "Your kids, something's gonna be done about your kids," <laughs> <laughs> it might have been better. Keep it short. Yep. Your daughter, your daughter is dating a black guy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Family Guy jokes that went too far. Yep. Mm, yes, they definitely did. 
Certainly. Uh, all of these that I didn't do. You guys want to just like draw straws and see if you can do them? No, not really. Nah, dude. Are right. right, you sure? <laughs> I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do one last one. Tell me if it's good, okay? No, like, no, like these. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Hell yeah. You got that. I give that a ten. Really? Okay. I'll give I'll give that a two, but only because you didn't fall over dead. If you would have <laughs> fell over dead, that would have been a perfect three. <clears throat> All right, I got one as well. An extra okay. Bonus. I'm Jackson, and I'm Jason Statham, and I'm going to beat your ass with these bicycle pedals. <laughs> <laughs> We're all lubed up. <laughs> We're all lubed up. <laughs> All right. I got I got one. My, my name is Carter. <laughs> my name is Carter. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> oh man. All right, I got an extra one actually. Ten. I wish I had a bag of potato chips right now, but <clears throat> let's see. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We got to do something about these, uh, these illegal, these illegals. Uh, we need it. We got to build a wall, uh, <laughs> a big wall that'll keep them all, all out of uh, this country. Uh, can't do it. Uh, <laughs> My <laughs> uncle, when I was <laughs> supposed to be Donald Trump, that orange dude. Yeah, the orange. Ugh. The citrus man. <laughs> all oh. right. Yeah, let's move into yo, dude. Check this out. Who wants to start us off? I am not prepared. I'm also not prepared. <laughs> I will start us off. So, yo, dude, check this out. I learned from a girl at work that has a farm, and she's always telling me wonderful facts about farm life. Her name is Kelly Cook, and she's awesome. <clears throat> but she was telling me. Something I never knew that I was always kind of curious about, but never curious enough to look up. But I'm glad she told me because it definitely enlightened me. Pretty much, a bull is a mature, intact male cow that has testicles. That's what you want, right? And a steer (laughs) is a male cow that has had its balls cut off. Before it reaches sexual maturity. <clears throat> and it's just primarily used for beef. And I was always like... <clears throat> in my mind, I was always thinking like... So, is it just... You're just lucky to get a bull? Like, oh, we got a bull! We gotta use them! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and I just never... I never put the two and two together. That, hey, they, they're they created that way. Cut their balls off and they become, boom, a steer instead of a bull. Mm. Hmm. So they can't sexually reproduce. That's why you have like one bull that's just like the dominant dude, because he's got all the testosterone. Nobody else does. Stay he's got all the balls. Mm-hmm. Yep, he's got big balls. <laughs> yep, pretty crazy. And yeah, that's mine. Uh, that's pretty gnarly. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, my uh, yo dude is get yourself psyched because. Robert Eggers is going to be doing Nosferatu with Willem Dafoe. Not entirely sure when it's going to be coming out, but the same guy that did The Lighthouse. Uh, yeah, The Lighthouse, which The Northman that's getting ready to come out, which is getting pretty good reviews already. I've heard nothing except Masterpiece so far. Looks really good. So, Yeah. Yeah, I cannot wait for that, dude. Get ready for a remake of Nosferatu. <clears throat> Will you bring back his Green Goblin character at all in this? Hopefully. You do like... Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Let's hope so. That's a neat trick. That's wait, sentence. you said it's starring Willem Dafoe? Yep, he is oh, Nosferatu. Oh my god, so good. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. <laughs> uh, so I have a subscription to National Geographic, so I was... Reading my magazine this month on the pooper, and uh, I read that. Um, so they they did this study with mice um, to try and see if you could like live out the things that you dream while you're awake. Uh, they did like sleep studies with baby mice and stuff, 
that actually translated to sleep studies with infants. Um, and like the same way that your brain, <clears throat> they see the neurons firing in your brain while you're sleeping or dreaming specifically, they found out that in infants, it's like half in half out because infants can't tell the difference between what they're looking at and what they should be looking at. So sometimes like their real waking lives are the same as their dreaming lives. Wow. For a while. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Thanks for checking that out. <laughs> That's wild, man. That's crazy to think about. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of creepy to think about. It's scary at the same time. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> I might have been too dumb to understand what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, infants hallucinate their dreams while they're wa- while they're awake. Yeah. All right. Until they're a certain age. So that's why we don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember because you were abducted, or you abducted us. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the wrong timeline. Wasn't it? As babies, we were all tripping. I'm got it. It's, uh, it's, it gets complicated sometimes. Yeah. Our flying saucers, they they break down from time to time. <laughs> O'Reilly doesn't always have the parts for a 1959 flying saucer V. <laughs> Ship. You've said too much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yo dude check this out so there's this movie that's already been uh, written and directed and I believe produced or something Uh, but it's called 100 Years and it is an upcoming experimental science fiction film written by John Malkovich and directed by Robert Rodriguez it was advertised in 2015 with a tagline the movie you will never see it is due to be released on November 18th, 2115. The 100 year lifespan matches the time it takes for a bottle of Louis uh, thir- 13 cognac to be properly aged before it's released to the consumers. Uh, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Whoa. But yeah, it's like there's a movie that I don't know if it's still being made or. That none of us will Dang. see. Yeah. 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 I remember, I think I remember seeing something like that. Might not have been that same movie, though. It reminds me of that Boyhood movie, though, where he, like, they film that kid. The actor is actually, like, a kid, and then they film him into adulthood or whatever. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> what an asshole thing to do to make a movie that I'm not going to release it until everyone, as you know it, is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah. It's your grandchildren's children will be able to watch this movie, but no one else. <laughs> how do you do you how do you think the uh movie theater experience will change in the future by twenty oh my god one fifteen? I would like to see more stuff with like uh interactive <clears throat> seats. Yeah. I would like to see that. It'll all take place in our brains. All our be beam to us. I imagine eventually they're going to have like home theater chairs where you just like sit back and there's like a, a flexed holographic panel over your face. Then you just like, you know. Yeah. That'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. I mean, just lay in your bed and look at it. That'd be cool. Yeah. Hopefully it comes in 8K. No. <laughs> oh, I thought you said hopefully it comes with an AK. I was like, well, why would it come with an AK? Yeah, I wouldn't mind so an AK. You just have an AK 47 in your lab while you're watching. <laughs> yeah, just fire with the right. We still have the right to bear arms and arm bears. <laughs> I didn't have anything good this week. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, oh. Connor. Oh. All right. I mean, I can tell you something boring if you want to hear something boring. <laughs> sure, yeah. let's, get, let's yeah. hear it. Yeah. Uh, so um, I guess they're installing these. Yo, dude, check this out. They're installing these like uh, white boxes on the traffic lights in Springfield. I don't know if you guys heard about that, but I uh-huh. guess it's like some new type of like radar detection, and they were like adamantly telling people that it's not something that the police are going to be using against them. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. So right, it's like you probably bet that they're using that against them. But, yeah, but they uh, won't tell you what they will use it for, but they'll tell you what they won't use it for. <laughs> air right. quotes. So, yeah. Wow. Interesting. But it's supposed to like help with uh, when you're pulling up to a light detecting the car then, you know, so it might stay on oh, a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. But uh, 
Yeah. So who knows if they if they're doing that in Springfield, they might do it here in Joplin or something. I haven't oh. heard anything about it. Well, that's interesting. Huh. And I work for the city. <laughs> the city. <laughs> <laughs> City of Joplin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're taking Joplin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for crashing with friends. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week. And we will see you guys all next week. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. Crashing with friends. Podcast.